Hello, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here guys. Welcome back to NHL 24 and the be a pro career mode. We are continuing on with the Stanley Cup playoffs and we are moving on to the conference finals now against Vancouver. A very tough club, obviously. Uh, but I got to make an absolute example out of them. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, the last couple of rounds went pretty swimmingly. Round one, we ended up sweeping. Round two, not as much, but it was it was weird. The game is so inconsistent. Like there was one game where we had more goals than anything else. It was like the AI broke. AI broke. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, we are back and we're going to be hopefully finishing off uh, our debut or our first season, our rookie season with a Stanley Cup victory. Uh, that's usually what we try to do as we go throughout these years here. So uh, uh, or these NHLs. So uh, anyway, I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. If you are, make sure you leave a like on it. And let me know your thoughts. Or sorry, don't. God, I'm all backwards. Apparently, I'm still on weekend mode. Anyway, make sure you say what's up in the chat. So, you're with us. This isn't the end of the stream, Dan. Good job. Anyway, we're going to go through our chat. We'll say hellos. And we will get started. Of course, it did. All right. What's up, Michael? Hey, Mickey. What's up, Juan? Alyssa and Thomas. Welcome. Hey, Gerard. What's up, T Roy? Hey there, Ezra. Welcome. <laughs> I, I, that's funny because I actually do. I watch, it's funny, like, well, not every game. I mean, I don't watch every, I watch every single Oilers game. This season, I watched it, every single Oilers game. Like, not, okay. I have watched every single Oilers game. Not not all of them start to finish, but I've tuned in to every single one. Most I've watched fully. Like, I want to say about, I think there was maybe five or six games that I, only, I was only able to catch, say, like, the third period or a few minutes or whatever, but I've always tuned in. <laughs> I made the effort. I really, really wanted to. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, Liam? Hey, Jet and Riley, welcome. Uh, how you doing? What's up, Sean? Welcome. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks, y'all, for being here. So, I'm not going to dilly-dally. I want to get right into this. I'm excited. I'm in playoff mode. Today is the debut, by the way. Uh, game one for the Oilers versus the Kings. So, I'm like, I'm on. I'm in playoff mode. I'm hyped for it. Super, super hype. So, anyway, I'm ready. I hope you guys are as well. Let's get started here. Game one, conference finals. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, every team play. <laughs> Man, can you imagine? I wonder how long that would take. Like, how many hours out of your day? The problem is you'd have to have, like... You'd have to be, like, one of those bars where you'd have to have, like... You know, 14 different... You know, like, monitors or TVs playing each game. And it'd be an expensive venture, too. You're trying to watch every game. The eyes just splitting. That'd be wild. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Oh. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Centering pass. Dude, that was an accident. He shouldn't have poke checked it. I would he honestly, if he didn't poke check it, it that was just bad timing. There was nothing he could do about that. Like, what was he going to do about that? Nothing. It went off Ronick's stick, and it bounced right back to me, and how is he going to save that? Not, not at all. Give him a little knocky knock. What's up, Angels? Hey, Abdul. Scooped up along the wall by Gensel. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. What the hell? Oh, that was a bad pass, bro. Vancouver's looking to break out. I'm glad you could join us, Angels. Hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you for being a part of it. Oh! God, get the... Wow, what a gong show. Oh, 
Oh, I don't. Oh my God! Somehow I have it. All right, let's head off. Hey there, Tim. Already kicking things off strong. I love it. That was within the first if like few few seconds, I think. Like what, first twenty seconds? Oh, they tied it up. Vancouver's not gonna go away, guys. It's gonna be one of those things. Oh my. Oh, whatever. What? Dude, there's two of us. Oh, I do a penalty. Was that a trip call? Wait, no one. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I gotta see this because look at this. Okay. Let's check a look. Let's take a look at the penalty on me first. Okay. So what's he do? Tripping or. Mm, he might have. They might have considered that boarding. I'm not sure, but let's just ignore that. Okay, delayed call. Now keep in mind for those that don't, don't understand, when you get a delayed call, it means once. The, so the team that is, you know, who gets the penalty, that team, um, once as soon as they touch the puck, that's when the play stops and they go to the bench. But as long as we have possession, so I pass it out. As long as we have possession, it should still be. Uh, we should still be able to play on. We can pull a goalie to get the extra attacker. But look at this. Johnson to Gensel, and they stop it. So not once did Vancouver touch the puck to get that call. So they just called. That's bullshit. So I could have had a chance with a man advantage to get another goal. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, that puck was there for an eternity, bro. There's no way. That is the worst defense I think I've ever seen. That I that puck was like they were stuck and he was down. Goalie was down. I just came in and swooped up and got an open netter. That's brutal. Brutal. Dan, thanks for being for the last 20 months. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, I tried to get it across hard. Let's reset, reset, reset. He's not set. That was a bad call. Oh, off the post. I wanted to pass it. I knew that. Oh my god, where is it? It's in! It's in! That's a hatcher! Oh, I thought I got a goal. Wow. I thought it was off me. Man, we're beasting right now. Man, I think that'd be awesome. I think if Edmonton and Carolina was the the finals, it'll be a rematch from the 05 uh, 06 finals. That was the last time the Oilers were in the finals, where it was 5 6 against Carolina. We ended up losing that year. I think it went to seven games. We lost in game seven. Um, but I remember that. I remember watching that year and being so disappointed. I was like, man. Because I haven't seen a Stanley Cup in my lifetime for my team. So that was the closest we've gotten. But the difference is, is we, have a, we have a pretty playoff contending team this year. But there are, just, there are teams who are better in the playoffs than we are. So there's... That's just something to think about. I don't know why I did that. I should have passed it. Sorry, sorry. Right in open lane. I don't know why he's like dropping like that, stacking pads. 
We ultimately, I think it'd be pretty sweet. Oh my God. It'd be pretty sweet to see that. I, it'd be cool to see New York as well. Oh man. Well, I think one of the most interesting finals would be Edmonton Toronto. I think that'd be one of the most interesting just because of how many star studded players there are on each team. Oh, I tried to pass cross. I wouldn't say we slow down. I mean, that's true. That was true in the first few years, like 21 playoffs. Definitely, I agree with that 100%. This year, we started slow and we went in. I think the only difference was um, between last year was Vegas, who, who we lost to was just a better team at that time. They, you know, they pulled their, their, you know, their injury cap cheese as they do. And it's part of the game though. And I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to be different because Vegas is in the same situation. The team we really got to look out for this year in the West is Dallas. Dallas is a proper threat. So that's, that's the team I'm really concerned about. Like you never know. It could go anyway. But here's a blast, and that carries off a body in the lane. Slides I mean, Vancouver's been pretty them. solid too. They're another team I'm worried about. Oh no way! There's your Hattie. Hey, John. Hey, Rajat. What's up? <laughs> Hold called the hat trick. There you go. I've just been scoring like crazy, man. I don't know. It's just we're on one. It's really weird, the AI and the sliders. It's like once you have a momentum boost, the sliders are cranked. And right now, I wouldn't say it's so much them that's really dropping the ball. It is and it isn't. What the problem is the, the AI is doing weird things for the goalies. Like they're doing weird things like drop stacking pads and just immediately getting tired. I mean, it went in, but it was after the buzzer. I hope they don't get... I'm glad they didn't rush me after that because I know that time ended. I was just trying to get a shot off. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second. Oh, my boy. Oh, it didn't matter. Well, they needed a goal. They needed to put something up. Something else, I mean. Because I think that's number two for the night. Well, Cheryl, what are your thoughts on this conversation right now we're witnessing between the coach and the youngster? The thing is about the Grizzlies is, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, uh, people just remember them for their, like, I think they have some of the cleanest jerseys ever. I think the two Canadian teams, the expansion teams of 96, phenomenal. Like, like, the 90s were a fun era for jerseys and everything. Everything was just, like, across the board. Maybe not MLB, but, like, or NFL. But, like, for hockey and, and basketball, jerseys were so much more fun in that era. They were, like, it's, like, super 90s themes, and they were, like, crazy. They, like, they went against the grain for the norm. Oh, beauty. And, uh, yeah, I love the Grizzlies uniform from that. Same with the Raptors. Those are, like, some of the best jerseys of that era but they also sorry i got off topic with that the grizzlies the vancouver grizzlies hold the record for the worst uh, like the worst season record out of any nba team i'm pretty sure in that debut season i think the grizzlies won seven games or something i think it's seven seven or six i'm pretty sure it was seven You know what I mean? Like it's like what the fuck? So that's why they went away. That's why they moved it. It was still a fairly new sport for Canada to take on, and their record was trash. So it's like, nah, this ain't working here. 
I think now the Grizz, like if like a team in Vancouver work a lot better. Than it would have in the 90s. Because Canada has always been a hockey first nation. But now there's a lot more basketball fans and even baseball fans and things like that. Yeah, some art. Man, I love coffee time. I ended up drinking it too fast and I ended up wanting like another cup. <laughs> Showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Quinn's won the draw. Oh, I got in the way. I was trying to get into, I was trying to set a screen and get to the, get right into the short side there, but. No, 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 basketball is, was invented by a Canadian. That's not what I mean. Because technically hockey's not Canadian. Hockey, I think, was invented by a Finn. I think it's a Finnish invention. Uh, maybe Swedish? I don't remember. Something like that. Norwegian? I don't know. Like one of those Nordic nations. Um, but like, you know, certain nations took it and ran. And I'd say like with hockey, hockey Canada took it and ran. And same thing with basketball. The States took it and ran. But I'm just saying as a popular sport, that's, I can't believe that didn't go in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Bro, what happened to Gensel? Where the hell is it? Oh, why is it so far? Oh my gosh, why is it so far? Why, why did it reverse it all the way? I, I don't, this game is so broken. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Gensel was just having an absolute seizure. Look at how, look how much it rewound it, bro. What the fuck? Dude, seriously? I have to, just to get to the moment I want, I have to fast forward through all this. Like that's insane. Dude was having a seizure and nobody checked on that poor bastard. Like, that's crazy. <coughs> it's going to be worth it. I promise you this is going to be worth it. It's just, it's crazy how it's making me do that. Holy shit, bro. Why would I want to look, why would it send my replay all, it's killing the moment. I just wanted to see Gensel having a seizure on the ice. Okay, we're only halfway. Shit, man, why not? You know what? You're welcome. There you go. <laughs> I trust you with that, brother. Wow, it literally went back to, like, the previous period. That was literally period one. Where the... Like, look how, look how long this is taking. This is unacceptable, EA. Come on. Bro, look at all these. Look at all this. This is in, un, insane. I can't believe it's making me re it rewind. This is as fast as I can go, by the way. This is as fast as I can go. You can't skip by chapter like that. I had to fast forward 300 and some seconds. It's multiple minutes. I think we're getting close, though. Oh, because we switched sides. Yeah, see, now we're going this way. This is what I needed to do. Oh my god, bro. This sucks. I'm still going. Alright, I think it's coming up. Here's me. There's Gensel. Let's follow Gensel. <laughs> Alright, let's try and... <laughs> he, gets, he gets leveled. <laughs> he puts his skates on him. What? Look, he's they're stepping on him. <laughs> Heronic is stepping on him. What the? <laughs> on his neck. <laughs> the dude is deceased. <laughs> dude, someone should check on himself. Something's wrong. 
<laughs> What's crazy about this is that he stayed this way. He's like, everyone, the play's going to the other end. <laughs> the ref doesn't give a shit. Look where the ref is. Look, you got to understand the ref is here. The ref is right here. And the play is in the other end. So how is he able to call anything from up here? Yes, there's linesmen, but the head ref is right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wait, are you telling me that this whole time I could have just rewound it? Oh my God, bro. I could have rewound it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. I could have just rewound it, bro. Poor Gensel. Well, that was a good waste of time that I rewound it. Hey, it was worth it though. I firmly believe that was worth it, but got the puck and he's gonna hang on. <sighs> that was a journey. There's no other way of putting it. That was a journey. Miller's the leader of this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You gotta look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick puck What a sequence of events that was. And me, I'm rewinding right through it. Oh, we got another one, bro. This is a Varda. I wish it was a bit balanced. It's just not balanced at all. Guys, you got to understand, I've never had this much of a blowout in the playoffs in any of the NHLs that I've played. And keep in mind, the difficulty doesn't change. I don't adjust the sliders. I, I leave it where I play it. Whoa. So how the hell is this game so unevenly matched? They made a lot of gameplay changes in this one, though. Like, you know, the hitting is different and things like that. Like, they added more range of hitting, but it also broke everything. For example, it's so hard not to get an elbowing call. Or to, hit, you know, take an elbowing call. Oh, wow. Well, Ezra, you asked, and there's certain people in my chat whom, you know, have been, have got enough rapport with my channel, and I trust wholeheartedly with the responsibility. So, if a lot, a lot, there's most people that ask that want to be a mod. Oh my goodness! Most people that ask that want to be a mod are newcomers, and they've only been in stream like one time, and they're usually like 10 years old or something. <laughs> So when someone who I know is is like got the responsibility down pat, I usually just give it to him. Like, yeah, I need more mods. Let's go. But at the same time, there's a lot you like. There's things that like, people think it's just like a flex thing, but you have you have to control chat. You know, it's like it's not really a, a party. You know what I mean? Oh my God, he made the save. How did he not? Great hits up play with the stick by Latang. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's deflected off someone in front. Here's a short pass to Jones. He's tired. He's tired. He's on the ice. Chicago's got it now. There's a shot. Oh my god. See, something's going on with the goalies now, where um, their their bar is de is depleting so fast that I think, it, honestly, for real, there's something going on with the goalies. Because yeah, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I know we're hemming them in their zone, but they literally go from full stamina to none within like seconds. So something's wrong. There's no reason I should be getting this many goals. But at the same time, it's like. Let's exploit it because EA, I want to show how broken EA can be. Hey there, Fox.
One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. A very, very long way to go. Down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Chicago's been terrific for 40 minutes of play, but you know the coach is going to be preaching that full 60 minutes to be consistent and see it right through. So they'll have to be defensively responsible. But when they oh, man, I took too long. I should have shot it, but... Kuzmenko's got the puck along the wing. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the pad by Varlamov! Honestly, the way I look at it... Oh, shit. Like, see, why would I pass it to him? It doesn't make any sense. I literally am aiming at the guy it's, like, suggesting. That's why I mean. This game is so fucky. Whatever. Oh, I know you don't. I know you don't, man. Don't don't get me don't get me wrong on that. I just mean a lot of people who want you know want mo that's why when people ask I don't normally give it to them, but when the right person asks, there's been a couple of people who have asked and been I'm like yep that seems that seems good to me. You know, how do I be a mod on the channel? It's like you know. The thing is I want a bit of competition, but I like I said. I don't like how EA does the difficulties. That's my problem. It's like, okay, just up the difficulty. It's like, it's not that simple. Oh, they're waving it off. Did I touch? Did I touch him? Let me see. Why? Dude, he was on the ground. He was. I didn't touch him. They're going to wave that off. They're going to say, I. he dove in. He took, dude, he put his stick in front of me. That's bullshit. That wouldn't be waved off, but because it's EA and it's like the game is programmed, it's just... Oh, I almost just put it in. Oh, they got Subban in there now. The Blackhawks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Oh, wow, I wasn't even looking. My bad, I didn't even... Oh, Jesus, he got sandwiched. I got credit for the hit. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to head off. Vancouver's got the puck. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. It's going good, Fox. How are you, man? The Blackhawks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Quinn's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Blocked in traffic. Oh, where am I? Oh, oh God, I'm getting stepped on down here in the defensive end. Chicago's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. The Blackhawks take possession off the faceoff. Oh, oh, how did he miss? Are you serious? That was it. That was literally a goal. Shit, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm there. You go. I think it isolated. There, I got a stick on it. I don't usually poke check that much anymore, but that's a lot of pressure. It's out. Wait, penalty for whom? Interesting. Walter, I've never even played World War Z at all. Actually, that's not true. I played it. Oh, wow, they actually got another one. I actually played it as like my, my first stream. Oh man, my first stream uh, on Facebook, but I don't play it, so it's not something I do. It's like asking me if I'll play like 
uh, League of Legends new update. <laughs> it's like, what? And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Jones. Quinn's got it through center. Rebound. What a save by Subban. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Oh, what a save by Subs. Holy shit. And now he moves it quickly to right goal. Oh, what the? Oh no, are you kidding? That's insane. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Bovillier's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Desperately trying to get out of the road in. This is insane. And there come the bats. Wow. Chicago's showing no signs of Let's go, Dan. Third period up big time. Man, I remember. I remember, okay, I've, I've, I think I've been playing NHL, just give you guys an idea, the first NHL game I ever played, oh no, that'll put it away, the first NHL game I ever played was NHL 94 for the Super Nintendo, the first NHL game I owned was NHL 97, and I still remember the menus in my head, I remember it would show like a stadium in the background, and then whenever you'd go to play, it would show whatever team you pick. It would pick whatever their star player is. And there'd be like a steam vent in the background. And, and every periodically, the steam vent would go off and let steam go through. I just remember I played the ever-loving shit out of NHL 97. Like, that was probably my most played NHL game. It was on PC. And... Man, those are good times. And I remember seeing Brendan Shanahan as the star player for the, for the Red Wings. Uh, good shit. But I remember as well playing NHL 07, and that was the first year they put in the Be a Pro career. And I remember being like, oh my god, this is so cool. You play as one position, and you have to basically be in, like, you're not in control of the whole team this time. You just got to play your spot well. And I, I thought that was the coolest thing. Like, literally, just to give you guys an idea, this mode hasn't changed that much since 2006. But back then, it was revolutionary, and EA wasn't greasy. Not yet, anyway. They were close, but. Man, that was fucking fun. And that was the same year. So I remember that was the same year that Edmonton played Carolina in the uh, in the finals. So whenever, like, whatever the previous, basically the way they do it in the play now or the exhibition, whenever you're playing just a regular game, they would they would default the two teams who were in the finals together. So I remember being like, oh, Edmonton's right there. I know, super cool. I'm glad I told that story for you guys, right? <laughs> you're like, cool, Dan, thanks. <laughs> I'm just reminiscing. I'm sorry. I wonder if I still have NHL 07, or if my brother has it. My, it might have been my brother's copy. I know I had a few that I owned. I just don't remember which ones they were. Man, the soundtracks were butter, though, hey? The gate icing. Oh, wait, it wasn't icing? It must have been a touch. Wait, Gagne? That's not Sam Gagne, is it? What's the number? 89, that's Sam Gagne. He's an oiler. What the fuck? Why is he playing for Vancouver? Oh, wow. I will say the playoffs are longer. The games are much longer. They're taking me like a 30 minutes as opposed to 20. They're like 10 minutes longer. I think it's because I'm getting more ice time. Because like this is when it matters, you know? Shit. Solid first game, though. Anyways, what's up, Trevor? And it's super quiet. At least because at playoffs, he doesn't—they don't take calls anymore from those random people. 
No worries, Ez. You've been a longtime supporter. Both in person, like just by showing up and also financially as well. So you should be the one being thanked. So thank you, bro. Female career mode. Uh, are you referring to... And what are you referring to, actually? Uh, UFC? Oh, no. At WWE. WWE. Right. Sorry. Of course. When do I get... I still only have one trade point. I'm going to go look at my salary perks. I haven't done that in a minute. I hate, I hate ones that reduce ones. And, like, these are so overpriced for what they give you. I only ever buy stuff that gives you a plus. This is... Oh, it's available for five games. So, it's temporary. Not worth it. This is when you lose wrist shot power. Oh, I can get the uh, the GNX. The Grand National. This thing was badass. The Grand National GNX, it looks like your grandpa's car, but it just isn't. You know what I mean? I mean, you get endurance of passing really high. And your power play line score boost is up. And that, so far, that's the only one that I can afford right now that doesn't give me a negative. This gives me two X-Factor points, but the thing is, I get X... Hmm... See, X-Factor points are nice, but I don't have any X-Factors. I have one X-Factor, and I'm... I think the only way you can unlock an X-Factor is if, like... I don't know. See, these are temp... A lot of the things... See, these are, these are good. But I have insufficient funds for them. This gives me a durability. Oh, it's a five gamer, too. That's not what we want. And I've already bought all these gyms. I don't have the big gym, though. 400 grand. You know, maybe I'm 3.30. Maybe I should save up for the big gym. Strength, slap shot power, wrist shot power. That seems like it's worth the wait. Even though it might already be pretty high, actually. Man, fuck, I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference, does it? If I'm 100% honest with you, T-Roy... Probably not. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any more FCs in the future. The audience just isn't there for me. Like, I'm not into it enough, and I, I think the audience can tell that. So it just doesn't get as much views as it's worth. I, I know I don't want to just base everything on views, but I also have to think of what makes the most sense. Well, if I'm not having as much fun with it, I mean, it gets a little boring for me. I used to play FIFA all the time, but I just I don't have that interest anymore, I guess. You can feel the intensity of this one. What are you doing, bro? Honestly, as I don't even know, man. I don't know where if I'm ever gonna. Well, I probably will, maybe in a year. I mean, it was renewed for another season, so they're probably gonna make it a regular thing. Because they actually worked with Bethesda. I mean, I'm proud of Bones, but. Oh wow. I'm also like, like you know how um, the bigger a company gets, it's it's good because you want this small time company who has started out really small, is now making all these big moves. Um, you know, and they're, they're, they're basically something a product you like to support is doing well, but then they also become big company style and they do some big company things. Like their prices go up as as production costs go up. You know, they have more staff. Everything gets more expensive. But they also get a little bit greasier. So, I, I, that's the only thing I don't like about Bones at this moment. Is their prices are really high now. Even though they're like, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm an affiliate with them. I'll always recommend them. They're fantastic. But they've got to work some shit out. Some of their shit's too expensive in my opinion. Especially if you're buying uh, out of country. The shipping is asinine. There's only one shipping option. And it costs like 50 bucks. And you'd probably think, oh, Dan, well, just if you buy one coffee, does it change the price? Yeah, buy like five bucks. I remember Mel and I were looking to build up our, like, we usually buy coffee every four to six months. We buy like a big pack. We'll get like six bags. And it's it's pretty expensive. Like, I think it ends up being like a hundred and some dollars after discounts. Um, but it lasts us for six months, like half the year, right? You know, so we have lots of coffee to drink. So the only time I'll buy another one is if I want to get like a new flavor that's probably going to sell out. But anyway, you got like this, you got the shipping, which is through FedEx, I think. And they, they it's literally $50 just to ship it. And I remember we tried putting one coffee in, in our cart 
and it was 40 or 45 or 40 bucks i'm not 100 percent sure and i'm like dude so i you're you're, you're you're delivering this tiny bag of coffee i didn't mean to call for that your tiny bag of coffee and you're somehow charging 40 dollars to do it there's no way there's no way so a lot of the times any discount you're saving oh where the hell was he any discount you have is gone kind of annoying and of course the it's a bit misleading to you in uh, uh, people who aren't in the States as well it's like oh click here to get like I'll get emails saying hey come get the new coffee from well I mean not 40 bucks for coffee John 40 bucks for the shipping to Canada like international shipping is $40 or $50 or whatever it ends up being oh that sucks Like I mean, a single bag, uh, a single bag is um, I can't remember the ounce, ounces of it, ounceage. But I think each bag is anywhere from, like in American dollars, I think it's like it, it depends if it's a sponsor one, like if it's a Disney one or especially like the Fallout ones or the Disney ones. I think they add about three dollars to the total, because that's the Disney cut or whoever it is, right? Fallout ones, that's the Bethesda cut. You know what I mean? Because they all get a cut of the pro the cost, you know of the sales uh, for using their their product, you know what I mean? So, usually they're anywhere from $15 to $18, I'd say, for a big bag. And, it's, and it lasts, a, a single bag will last you, if you're, like, depending how much coffee you drink, it'll last you a while. Like I said, we usually buy six bags, it lasts us six months, so it's like a month per, per bag, so that's not bad at all, really. Um, but it's just the shipping, right? The shipping is crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, if they're selling you on like, oh, get all the Fallout stuff, and I'm like an insider and all this stuff, and I have access to all the new, like, it's like, oh, if you order from here, you'll get it. Like, I'm on the, that list where it's like, you get first dibs. Um, first dibs at, uh, at you know, at this, this new flavor, and you can't even buy it because it's American, but it doesn't say, hey, not available to Canadians or only available to US residents. It doesn't say that. It just goes to an error page. It'll let you put it in your cart and everything. You put it in your cart and it won't. Oh shit, I should be subbing off. Um, you put it in your cart and you'll try and check it out. And it's like, oh, error, something went wrong. And it, it doesn't say why. I, that is why, because I've asked them, but it's pretty misleading. Honestly, Ezra, if I have a PO box, if you did that and if it wasn't too expensive, I would just probably transfer you some money. <laughs> just so I could try it. I've honestly been... I, I've had a P.O. box for the last, I'd say, two years or so. Maybe... Yeah, I think two years. And the reason I did that was because I needed a return address for when I sent giveaway winners stuff. I've had I've had a couple people... Like, Darren Darren sent me what my, that jersey he got me la, uh, last year via the P.O. box. I'm wondering about just making my P.O. box public. It's not like it's private. That's the whole reason I got it. But that way, in case people want to send me, like, art or just whatever. I've just been nervous because I'm nervous someone will send me, like, uh, like shit or something. <laughs> like, the wrong person finds out your P.O. box, they send you a bag of shit. <laughs> but I am paying per year for the P.O. box. It's almost like maybe I should just do it and make it, make it worth it. And in case there is shit in it, we just, like, set up, like, a, sh a shield when I'm opening it, you know, like a shit bomb. You know what I mean? Like, you open the thing, it, like, slingshots at you. Maybe I should set up, like, a barricade every time I open it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. It would be funny. Oh, let's go. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Here's a short pass. It's instead of a P.O. box, it's a poo poo box. It's that damn poop again. He called the shit poop. We got I I realize I've been blabbing and we're down a goal. I really should be a little more on it. Yeah, you know what? It's it's I wouldn't say it's imagination. I guess it is. But it's also paranoia. I am so paranoid. I've had so many people do things to me in the way of my YouTube channel. Like as in, 
You know, I've been doxxed once before, so I think that's another reason I'm reserved. I mean, again, the P.O. Box isn't near my house or anything. I set it up in an area that's, you know, not near my house, but also still convenient to go to. <laughs> but I still, like, that's why I got it, too. It's like, well, now I, I can have a return address that's not my personal address, you know? I'd rather go drive somewhere and pick something up or whatever. Players overall right now is an 89. I should crack a 90 in the playoffs, I think. I've been playing well. <laughs> yeah. No, I look like looking like Walter White with a hazmat suit on opening these PO boxes because you never know what's going to be in them. Just, we got to get a goal. Oh, a good, sh good chance. Oh, I didn't want to go that way at all, but at least he picks it up. Oh, man. Husey boy. <sighs> nice steal. Let's go. There's too many bodies in there. I tried to I tried to get some space. Picked up along the wall by Garland. On the attack along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick pass to Rust. Rams control of it at the point. Oh man, that was for me. I was trying to get open for him. I don't blame him for passing to me like that. Here's a shot. What a stop. Picked up along the boards by Kuzmenko. Moves it to Rust. And down. Oh, I'm offside. I'm going to leave it. For, I'm going to ignore it for now. Oh, he's down. All right, let's head off. Hey, bro, I'd never say no to that. <laughs> I'd never say no to that, Ezra. I wanted to try it out, but like all the new flavors, like it's funny because normally they sell out quickly. I was early because I had that. Oh, man, two goals. I was early this time, and I uh, I was ready to buy, but it just wouldn't let me because of my region, because of my address. Oh, he got stick lifted. That was a great chance. They want me off. I don't blame them. Oh, no, they don't want me off. We're good. Keep going. Come on, Gensel the stencil. Oh, I wasn't there for the rebound. That would have been good. Demko's been playing phenomenally, so... Oh, God, he's down. Whoa. Oh, he got chipped up or what? And plus, man, those mugs are fucking expensive, brother. Like, that's the crazy thing. Oh, he's in the bench! <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Because they ain't helping you. Shit, get out, get up. And... Sorry, buddy. I know that wasn't great. Oh, that's rough. Sorry. He's trying to pound it home. Man, we needed this goal. I feel like I'm actually fighting for it now. Right in front. Oh! Oh, man. 
That's really shitty. Unfortunately, we had a few chances, but. Uh, oh, we tied it. I'm not on the ice, though. So it's like whatever's happening is happening off ice. I mean, my teammates are playing well. I'll take. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, ooh, Jesus. Like, see, that's what I mean. You go from like getting goal, 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 and now it's like more even. This is this makes more sense. Like, I'm fine with this. Go. I need. This is where I need speed. I need speed. Yes. Yeah, they. I, I like them too. They're really. They're like ceramic, right? So they're like, or not ceramic. They're pottery. So it's like properly hand thrown mugs, and that you're paying. What you're. I, I understand they're expensive, but you're paying for like uh, the hand craftsmanship because you're not gonna find those. They're just super cool and detailed, and I love them. They can. I mean, I. I, I prefer the ones that are bigger. Like I. I like to have. I always have at least 12 ounces of coffee, so if I want to put a, you know some creamer in there or whatever, you want a bit of room. Some of them are, are only 12 ounces. It's like, ooh, that's right at the tip top. But I like the big ones. You know, where you can. It get, I like a bigger mug anyway, just because it's. Even if I'm not filling it up, I like the option. And I think all the Fallout ones are all big. And I, I'm like, you know what's cool about the follow ones too? And I wanted the Spider-Man one too, but again, they didn't sell that in, oh Jesus. They didn't sell that Spider-Man one in Canada either. Uh, but those ones are cool to have because they're not necessarily exclusive to a flavor. You can still have them as like, even though they're based around a flavor they sold, you can still have the Spider-Man one even if you're not drinking the Spider-Man coffee. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, oh, you're a fan of Spider-Man or you're a fan of Fallout, whatever, right? I'm actually using my uh, Mint Invaders one today. Because I, well, I try to match the flavor, so I'm having Mint Invaders, so I'm Mint Invadering it up. I usually, what ends up happening is for Father's Day or, or like just some, a gift like that, I'll usually get a Bones mug from the fam. So I always enjoy that. I, we've got quite the mug collection. We have many mugs i have never counted them out but we have a lot oh my god they brought it back this is crazy shit man it's three three looks like we're getting a little pep talk from the coach into the rookie's ear here we gotta get into it yeah, what about the confidence this is gonna give the rookie i mean the coach is oh yeah tyler i'm excited man i love playoff hockey it's just such a different vibe i mean i would love like even regular season games like it's crazy how different the vibe is you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. I think it's because the Spider-Man mug only came in, in in the bundle. Takes the feed. Gensel's usually an impact player, and tonight he's been really quiet. But oh, shit, that didn't work out. His game because he needs to if his team wants to win. This one's still close. They can still get it done, but he needs to be a difference maker. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Oh, that's saved. Tremendous agility. Oh, shit, that shouldn't be mine. Oh, that was a good pass. I need to get up there. Oh, that was weaseling its way through. Oh, man. Oh, I gave it up. Oh, we got a goal! I got an assist then. That's an assist for me. Wow, I I I count that. That's my assist. Oh, good block. Oh, what a save! Demko making that stretch. 
The Canucks are across the line and into the offensive end. Oh, a clutch save! Whoa, balls! He's spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is going. Oh, I thought I still had the puck. That would have been special, but... Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Shot denied by the defender. Nice block. Risky pass. Holy shit, that was tape. Oh, geez, that's an icing call. How's that not an ice? Okay, I was going to say. Hey, Trev. Yeah, this is game two. Game two. It's a close one. Four to three. We got to close out. They might pull soon. Oh, God. That was on me. Oh, well, I saw who I meant to pass to. I bumped circle, but it still worked. Got it along the wing. It down oh, that was for me. Oh, he got by Demko. oh, God, I tried to hit him. I, I mean, I was... Quick pass across to Pedersen. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Picked up along the wall by Myers. Oh, I missed him. In their own end. Quick feed to Kuzmenko. And puts it in. Good block. Gensel, go. He needs help. Oh, I get ground. I don't have the means to... Uh, I don't have the means to uh, ground the coffee, unfortunately. I just like pour it into like a, because uh, we have a Keurig, right? So I have those empty pods, you know, and you can just fill it with your own grounds. That's what we use. Oh, wait, we won. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was pretty anticlimactic. I forgot the game was almost over. I love the playoff beards coming in. Anyway. Cost, my friend. Thanks for being a member for the last 14 months, my bro. Thanks for all the laughs and entertainment. Oh, well, my pleasure. Thank you for watching, my friend. It's always a delight to have you with us. That goes for all you guys. All right, so game two. That's That was an imperative win. It was looking like we weren't going to take it, but we did, took it at the last minute, honestly. So I'm pretty impressed by that, and I'm proud of the team for being able to hold everything off. I appreciate that, as. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I still have the same amount of money, so it's like, should I keep saving? I don't know. I think so. Nine purchasable skills. Game game four, sorry. No, game three. This is game three. My bad. Game three coming up. Vancouver's got to pull something out their booty hole if they want to actually... But then again, like I said, it's very common to go down two games at, you know, in, in, in enemy territory. It is very common for that. But it just puts the pressure on for you to come back and absolutely crush it and chris is doing just that as well chris you're crushing it bro thank you so much 20 more gifted from chris dropping the booty holes whatever that means what an absolute legend thank you man let's go ahead and update my goal make sure you guys show him love Hi, for EA to what is that i think that's Working our way back up. That's 20 gifted. Let's go. Face -off is just away. This should be interesting to see. This Almost got the win. Like Fuck yeah, Chris. I love the vibes, brother. Thank you, man. Oh, I had him there. Junking it on the side. Yeah, make sure you guys, if you got a gifted membership from Chris, make sure you show him some love. Oh, I was trying to pass up to Gensel. Oh, shit, miscommunication. Sorry. Oh, that's a trip call. Ooh. Don't need that. Oh, 
chance here on the power play, guys. He knows his zone ability can help them generate a good Who scored? chance. Let's Multiple people did. Okay, it's still, it's 1-1. One, one. And the thing is, that's disrespectful, man. There's a, there's a fan in, in, there's a fan in there with a Quinn jersey, number eight, and are you just neglecting Garland? Like, Garland has, is number eight as well. That's so disrespectful to change a player you actually have his number. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I know you want me on your team, bro, but seriously... Backhand. There it is. He puts it away. Let's go. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, that's right. Even if they're not in stream, that doesn't happen often. Usually when people get 50, there's usually at least 50 in. It, it just gives it to people. Even if they're not in the stream, it'll give it to them. It just tracks, like, activity, really. It, it prioritizes people who have high activity. That's why you'll see a lot of people who are gifted. I've had someone who's been gifted a member for like I think a year so far, or almost a year, if not a year, and they've they've been gifted it every single time. It's because they're in stream a lot. They comment a lot, they chat a lot, they like a lot. You know what I mean? It's all about engagement. So even if you're not watching at that given time, you'll still get the gifted member, possibly. As long as you have gifts enabled on your channel, you just gotta make sure it's turned on. I've had a lot of people be like, oh, how come I never get it? I'm here all the time. Make sure you have to you accept it. Because a lot of people don't accept the members or that you can have them on the channel. It's very important. Quinn's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the The leader is the kid. It's like a McDavid situation. Defeated over to Miller. Takes the pass from the left wing. Oh, tremendous stop with the play. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. Oh, God, go. Now he takes it over I have a late. Gensel! Beauty. Gensel's been putting up digits. They look dialed in. They look dialed in and they look fast. There's so much motion. Everyone is moving and when they're moving, disrupting coverage and giving themselves lots of looks at the net and they've been rewarded with a couple goals at center ice now he grabs the puck from the point they take control of it Here's a chance. oh that was a hard pass it was too hard of a pass he couldn't make contact with it i just wanted to make sure it didn't get intercepted so i made a hard pass across the blue paint or near it anyway slides the puck over oh i oh man i thought i avoided that hit The goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Well past the midway mark of this period. Chicago's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Moments away from the face. It's a good place to be in. It's a good place to be in. Quinn's won the face. Finally won the face off. I have, I feel like I haven't been winning as many face-offs this, this stream. Oh good pass, good read, because I was about to be offside. Shit, what happened there? Sorry, Rust. Oh, I was late on the release. Wrap around. I've gotten a couple of wrap around goals. They're so satisfying when you tip those bad boys in. Come on, Rust. The Canucks have it against the wall. The Blackhawks get a hold of it, and he takes the dish. Right in front. Oh, I'm knocking him down. But they're still able to keep control of it. I think they turned it over with a bad pass, but... Oh, I tried to pass it back to him. We do have a two-goal advantage, so that's always a nice thing. It's only the first period, and there's four goals in it. You don't get as many icing calls, do you? So look at all the Quins in the, in the audience. It's so stupid. Literally, guys, that that bug has been in, in the NHL games for the last, I think, three games. I, I swear I remember seeing that bug since NHL, like, 22 or 21. It's pretty bad. Like, they literally don't fix anything. It's just remarkable. 
two is set to go. But it's part of it. The stages of this period, Chicago's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Vancouver's got it in the neutral zone. Hironik's got it in the defensive end. Dished on over to Garland. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Oh, shit. Hironik's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes it from the right side. Fires it on net. And cuts off the club and will play on. Marlamov's had a solid night between... I gave up my position. That was bad. Man, that's a gong show. Another penalty. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their net and they've created a ton of opportunities. Yeah, that's a... Why, why is that bug... Why is that bug happening? Because it's in the game. EA Sports. EA's quick stick off the possession. EA Sports. It's in the game. Because we didn't bother to fix it. It's a tub line. Because we don't have a big enough budget to fix it. We played with Johnson when he was on the Kraken, I think. When we played for the Kraken. What number did I end up using when I played for the crack? Was it nine? I think it was nine. Yeah, because uh, fucking what's his name? Oh, it's in, baby. Um, I can't remember. Oh, my God. Look at my number. What the fuck? What's going on with my jersey? Uh, I'm trying to remember who he was. He was the oldest guy in the NHL today. I always forget his name. Oldest guy, active, on the end, NHL players. That what is that Giordano, that's like it. I always forget his name, well, Gio. The Gio that's not even Gio's number, but he was on the Kraken, and he, the game defaulted him because he's normally a number five. And since it was already a number five, they, the next number available was eight, so they gave him eight, so therefore I got nine. And I'm just like, bruh. Now, Everly was seven. Everly was seven. Loves this as well because guess what? The entire bench is going to be utilized. They're all in rhythm. Get them all out there. Oh, that was for me. I was about to set up, but I didn't really have the stride to do it. Vancouver's across the blue line. Oh, slot. They needed that. Hey there, Cavian. How you doing, bro? Just getting off work. Hello. One in front. Oh, it was a weak shot. It was meant to be, as. Nice, nice. You're free. Free man. You know what's funny is like I sometimes will get like the feeling it's like oh man I don't wanna I don't wanna go to work either but what I get to do for work is also quite awesome so it's like it's like a double edged sword it's like sometimes I just want to relax with the fam or whatever but at other times I want to get back I'm like oh no but I get to go back with you guys I find I'm most happy with my with my streams when I know what I'm doing that week if I have to try and figure something out whoa oh they're scrapping that's gonna be roughing call for both of them. Yeah, like if I'm like if there's a game that's new and it's coming out, I'm like, oh, I have this, this, this plan for the whole week. If you see Dan's schedule like four, like three, two to three streams or something, that's how you know I'm feeling good. It's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm ready to play these games. I'm excited. But when I and I have to feel like I have to scramble to figure out what to play, that's the worst. That's why I'd rather be stupid busy than like not at all. Because it's not like before where I could play one game and make it last the entire month. You know, these streams, they go by quick. So I feel like I have to figure out new new content every so often. Vancouver's through center now in the offensive end. Chicago's got the puck. 
Feeds it on over to Quinn. Here's a chance. Uh, if that rebounded, that would have been a goal, but. What a stop by Demko. Across the line, down the left wall. That's turned aside from the blocker. Marlamov's in such great position. He's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. There's another stop. Oops, that's off offside. It caused. Um, usually, bad. I like. I, I. 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 Okay. I usually don't like to say who I have winning the cup because I don't want to say anything against my own team or anything. It, honestly, it could be anybody. It literally could be anybody. You, oh God! How did I not get that in? Honestly, bro, like that's been a thought that's crossed my mind as like um, I can feel it. I haven't played Fallout 4 in ages and they released a I think what is it an update tomorrow, but it's mainly for consoles. It's there is a mission. There's a Fallout 4 mission. But I can always start the update later, but it might be worth Oh no. You know what I love about that? They don't wave that off for goalie interference, but they wave mine where Buddy lays down, stacks his pads, and I don't even get in his crease, but because I bumped him out of his crease, they still wave it off. Listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up. Oh, I've already watched it, Cavian. I watched it within the first two days. I binged it pretty quickly. Here in the open ice. Sends it over to Quinn. From Sindivan, get into the attacking area. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Shit. He, you know, they're they're fighting right now. They need to fight. They don't want to lose. They can't lose this game. Once you go down three games, it's very difficult to come back from it. There it is. Right back to Murphy. That's beautiful. Hey, Thomas, how's it going? Play for a goaltender to get a read on James. You're in that inner slot area that pucks on the backhand. He's on the 25th. I heard about it, uh, but I, I know it's not. It's gonna be a lot less on on plat on PC because it already looked pretty good on PC. The last time I played Fallout, I was actually on my old PC, so I feel like Fallout 4 would run even better on my current PC. Plus, you could throw some mods on there. There you go. That's dirty. That's dirty. Prime subs? I think that's it's a Twitch feature because Twitch or Amazon I think owns Twitch now or something like that. I can't remember if they actually own it, but uh, basically if you if you get a uh, if you if you have Amazon Prime, you're eligible to get a free Twitch sub or, or maybe a handful. I can't really. I'm not. I can't remember. I'm not on Twitch, but. Um. Yeah, they give you like a free person to sub to every month. Nah, I'm not gonna play Stellar Blade. It's not my style. I looked into it, but I opted nah. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. I have oh my goodness, lots of goals. Apparently he passed it to me. I figured he would. Demko's been so impressive in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. And he takes the feed. Up along. Cut off. They've got numbers here. Great poke check on the reach. Crazy game so far. A lot of goals happening. It's the second period and there's already 10 goals between two teams. I mean, it's close too. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breath. Ugh. And then it's on to period number three next. 
Yeah, time does fly. Honestly, the mid 2010s were probably my favorite era of being on YouTube. A lot of things were going swimmingly for me. It was just such a fun time. Like every video I did, people were vibing with it. I was just on it, like just personality wise and my content, like I had a lot of energy. You know, I was excited with everything I played. You know, there was no, you know what I mean? Even though I had issues with like certain things, like I had so much fun and confidence and like I said, energy was a big one. I was able to put all that energy into my comedy style and I feel like my content really worked at that time. Now, I'm, don't get me wrong, I still have the energy, but not as much because I'm older now, right? I'm not, I'm not in my 20, mid-20s anymore. <laughs> I'm on the other end of things now, so it slows down. You get more responsibilities, a bit more weight on the shoulders, you know what I mean? Nothing to worry about. So if you're in your 20s right now, mid-20s, enjoy the fuck out of them because those are my, those were the, like some of my favorite times. So much fun. Enjoy that shit. As long as you can. Hey, Ronald. Doing great, man. How are you? The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Gains the zone along the right wall. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Garland's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that. Oh, that didn't work out. I didn't think I'd get into a board scrum, but here we are. Handles the puck. Nice read, nice read. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot. Clock save. Yeah. It's funny, I, I, I know I say this every now and then, and I'll say it again. People mention bring up that like, comment, subscribe thing, like, pretty often, but people don't remember the, the backlash. Most people enjoy it, so that's how I knew that it was the, the minority who thought it was a problem. But when the minority won't shut the fuck up about it, you know, they sound like the majority, you know? It's like, well, a bunch of people are saying it, no one said it before. I, I, I don't know. I just found that people were bitching about everything. It's just like how, remember when I, the whole chapter thing? You know, buddy was bitching, he was like, oh, it's clickbait. I'm like, man, people are looking for shit now. Like, they're like never happy. They're looking for everything to, to criticize creators for. It's like, I know a lot of creators deserve it. It's like, man, I literally, I don't give a fuck. That's why I lost it on that guy. I was just like, fuck, that is insane. We're running out of shit to be mad about. So they're looking for shit to be mad. So that's when I've discovered, I found out that people don't want to be happy. They want to bitch and complain. They want the drama. And I'm not about that. I just like to have a good time. But people make, they fight, they dig for shit, anything. And they'd like, oh, what can, what can entertain me? Because I'm, you know, I love drama. I think it's so exciting. I love being mad at strangers. I don't know. The Blackhawks are in transition. Oh, oh that sucked. To start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Veronik standing up, ready to go. And he slides it quickly to Kuzmenko. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Hold it, hold it. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Um, that's a, that's a good question, Cause, actually, because... There haven't been any games. The games that I was already like somewhat excited for, I feel like have already come out. Um, I have to look at my list again, but I wouldn't say there's anything like, whoa, I'm so stoked for that. Like I at least had an answer for most people when they'd asked me that last year, year before. But yeah, I think you're right. There's been some games that are like, ah, it's okay. But nothing like I'm like, oh, that's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for that. Or if it was gonna be coming out this year, it got postponed or delayed or whatever. Everything's different, though. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? It's going back and forth. Goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. He the puck here the oh, we need honestly one goal. Just wide. He's in the middle of the ice. Oh, that was a bad block. I mean, bad shot for the block. I had the lane, but he got right in front. I mean, they still need two goals, so as long as we just reduce pressure. Play ready 
Yeah, that was one of those situations. People had a pretty brittle spirit that they thought I was actually, like, you know, demanding them to do anything. I'm like, it's triumphant. No, you were telling us what to do. It's like, what? I had to get that off, but I wasn't a great lane. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, the game agreed with that. <laughs> Uh, I gotta look, Trev, honestly, man. I gotta... S I should really pull up my... Tell you what, I'll do that right now. I'll look at my... Um, I'll go to my channel and just see what I've got on the list. and Because I forget what's on the list. May. Um, I'm intrigued for Se the Senwa Saga game. But I'm not... I'm, I wouldn't say I'm looking for... Because I never played the first one. I will be, for those that are wondering. I'm going to play the first game prior to Hellblade 2 coming out. We'll play the first game and to hype us up because, like, you know, I think it'll be perfect timing for that. I ended up finding it on sale on Steam for three dollars at the end of last year. It was so cheap. I'm like, bro, I'm just buying it now for later. That's three dollars. Are you kidding me? For like an eight-hour game or whatever it is, it's like seven, eight hours. I'm not sure how long it is, but it's around there. But other than that, maybe, maybe Star Wars Outlaw, Outlaws. But again, oh, what a block! That was a beauty block. Um, but the only thing, the other one, Star Wars Outlaws, but I, I'm a little nervous because it's Ubisoft. Ubisoft makes games that are decent, but they're never ever mind blowing anymore. They always leave you like giving a, like an air of meh to them. Like all their games in the last like, I don't want to say decade because there's been some really good games the last decade, but you know what I'm saying? Like there's been a lot more meh shit. It's like I don't expect a lot. Most Ubisoft games, in my opinion, end up being like a seven or a six. Tried to get it in there. Hey, hey, Ice. Man, I would be. But when it comes to sports games, I always let whatever draft. The only re way I pick my team is if... Um, is if I get to choose in like this, cause some games they like make it a draft. I'm like, well, what's your top team? Where would you go? And then they write it into the story. But the NHL games, they do straight drafts. So I, I, I don't usually pick cause it skips storylines. Like it skips like the whole, literally the entry draft and all this other stuff. So I would love to be on the Oilers, but I wouldn't be able to do that unless I just said, hey, I'm gonna be on the Oilers right now. Oh, that's bad. There you go. I just had to cross the blue line. Yeah, exactly, MLB. But MLB, you can pick a team, and it'll but it'll still work it into the storyline. With me, it's like like this game. They literally just here's the top who's here's the top picks. Where do you want to go? And depending on how you play in like you know in the minors or you know whatever it is, you know it, I don't know if that makes sense. But the Oilers aren't are are too good like in in the rankings, so they're 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 like round one picks are way down the line. Like they usually pick like ninth or something around there, tenth. So they don't really get first dibs. What's funny is they used to. We used to be such a garbage team when we were in the middle of a rebuild, and that was like the late like late 20, 2009, 10 to early 2010s. And we had, I think in the last like 10 years, the Oilers have had three, uh, three number one uh, overall picks. And that's game two, game three done. Um, and the only reason we got McDavid is because we won the lottery that year. We had like a 10% chance of getting McDavid, of getting our number one pick that year, and we got the pick. And I was like, McDavid has been like an insane changer for the team. Like he's been through the shit too. Like he had some development as well that he needed, but there was a lot of pressure on him, you know? Everyone put this crazy pressure on this kid, and it's like, man, this guy is carrying a lot of weight right now. So give him, give him some credit. Yeah, unfortunately, the Leafs, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but 
uh, the Leafs. Yeah, they they have a they have a they have a bit of a mountain to climb with Boston. That's a good team, a lot of playoff experience. Um, but I will say it would be interesting to see two Canadian teams in the finals. We have not seen that. We haven't had a Canadian team win the cup since '93. So I would love for the cup to come back to the country at the very least. Oops, sorry. Game four, they've got the the Canucks really got to pull something out their booties. Game four, set to go on the ice tonight. Hi everybody, I'm James Cebalski. This series has been sensational to this point. Let's see if it continues tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to those plays. Let's get after it. Oh, he had him, Gensel. Oh wow. Oh, wait, I thought I had the puck. I'm stuck. Oh, God, he had him down. He had him down. Good save by Barles. That was dicey as shit, boy. Yeah, so you basically you came into hockey right after the last Canadian team won it, and that was the Canadians. And then prior to that, it was actually my Oilers at, uh, in 1990. That was the previous year. Or the previous time a Canadian team won, anyway. So basically, you got to understand this. I was born in 91. So... Oh... So when the Oilers won the Stanley Cup, I was just in I was just in the oven at that point. I, so I, I don't know if you want to consider I was around for a cup because I was technically, but I would have been like, shit, a month growing, if that. Because what, nine, let's see. All right, August, September, October, November, December, January. Not, uh, yeah, no, I would have been a few months actually because I think I would have been about March or April. April, I think, is when I would have been conceived. If I arrived in early January. I don't know what the math is. Playoff time, baby. But I want to see a cup. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a fucking embryo. I want to see a cup. <laughs> I don't want to be a Petri dish when, I, when the Oilers win the cup. I want to be watching it. You know, <laughs> enjoying it. <laughs> oh, dude, if you didn't pick that up. That's exactly it, man. I feel like if we keep this, oh, who scored? We did. All right, awesome. I feel like if we keep the, you know, the teammate team we have, maybe move some shit around. As I feel, I feel like a lot of it comes through McDavid. Um, Dry Seidel's contract is up next year. I can't remember if he's got one more year. I think actually he's up after this year. He might have one more. I gotta double check. I think his, I think his contract is. He's a free agent in. In 24, so and after the playoff, I'm, I honestly don't remember. I know McDavid has another season on his contract for sure. Um, but it, that could really change Drysital's decision. But I don't know. I, I don't think he would want to be separated. I think him and McDavid want to be with the Oilers for as long as physically possible. Right to the well. It wasn't. It wasn't the slot. High slot. It's funny because the Maple Leafs fans think that McDavid's coming there. Mm, he wouldn't do that. They don't have the cap space for McDavid.
past the halfway mark of this period. The Black yeah, I played hockey as a kid too. But it was all rink shit, you know what I mean? Like, not like claw. I wish I had. My parents could afford it. All the gear and stuff is so expensive. You don't realize, you don't really realize how, like, poor. I don't want to say poor is wrong, but how, like, lacking money that my, you know, your family might have had until you get older and you realize how much shit is. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's way more expensive now than it was back then. But still, when you think you notice subtle things and normally, and normally you're just like, well, that was a normal thing. Like, I remember always being cold at night. Like, in the wintertime, I remember always being cold. And it's because my parents had to keep... Oh, my God. My parents had to keep uh, the heat down so low. And I remember shivering to bed. But, like, my mom and dad made it, like, a game. It's like, oh, we'll snuggle you all up. Like, they got all these blankets and shit. But I remember being freezing almost every night. So, shit like that you realize. And then you realize what kind of food you're eating. It's like... I'm not saying it's bad food, but it's, like, affordable food. A lot. Like, my parents made all their own bread and shit. Come on, get it in! Yes! Got it right back. Yeah, they, they are stuck. Yeah, they got... Yeah, exactly. Matthews, Nylander, Marner. Yeah. That's their big three. They're, so they've already really committed to building around those three. And don't get me wrong, it's working. I don't think bringing McDavid in would make sense. I mean, it would make sense, but you just you just wouldn't have the money for that kind of stacked team. And I don't, like I said, I don't think McDavid, even though he's from Ontario, I don't think he'd really want to play in Toronto. He's, he's liked playing. Oh, what a snipe. Holy shit. Oh, I don't say sorry, bro. <laughs> I didn't know any better. It was fine. I was good. That was life for me. I couldn't complain. Chicago's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Say, Ron, how's it going? Two Rons, actually. Ron Anderson. All right, we got another one. Oh, man, the Leafs are in rough shape. Not the Leafs. Sorry, we're talking about Leafs. The Canucks. My bad. Yeah, the thing is, that he would, it, the thing is, when you have too many stars, they don't... I feel like they end up doing more damage. Than, like, look at, look at LeBron's Lakers. Don't get me wrong, they did. Oh man, it's a murder. Um, they have nothing but stars on there, but it's almost like you need those like bench players or role players to help out, you know, in certain and other ways. But having all stars is almost like a waste of money. Think about it. The Oilers had some like great players in the 80s, yes, but that was when like star hockey was like kind of a, a staple. There was like rules, everything was different. Like when I think of the three bigs, like I don't, don't get me wrong, like Glenn Anderson was up there and uh, Yari Curry as well. Um, but when I think of like the big three, I think of like I think of Gretzky, I think of Messier, and I think of Paul Coffey. That's usually who I think of when I think of that that trio. And it's similar to the Oilers now when you've got like Bouchard and uh, I mean Bouchard's not really on the same level as Coffey, but Bouchard's been filling those shoes. Um, Bouchard and Drysaitel and McDavid. That you need like a two forwards and a defender trio to really bring things together. But the thing is, the Oilers proved they didn't need Gretzky to win a cup because in 1990, that was M Messier's Oilers. Oh, man. Messier got a promotion to captain, and he led the team to victory. We didn't need Gretzky. So that was impressive. I, I could appreciate that. Yeah, I'd be booing, too. 
They're basically saying, hey, we're out of the playoffs now. We ain't winning a cup. I don't blame the Canucks fans for losing like this. Oops. That's true. He did do it again with the Rangers. Exactly. Because, yeah, originally, I think Gretzky went to the uh, the Kings first. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he went to Kings first, and then he went to the Rangers. So I remember he wanted to play in California. I will say, I don't think California hockey would be where it is without Gretzky going there. If he didn't, I don't think it would have caught on as much. But uh, uh, just hockey in the States in general, I don't think we're, would have been where it is if Gretzky didn't go down there. Right, the, I forgot about the Blues. He had, a, he had a tenure with the Blues, but it was his shortest tenure. Depth is the most important. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great point, 100%. Because you can have a stacked line, but you got to have the guys to come off the bench. But you need good coaching, too, for that reason. Because, like, sometimes a coach will be like, oh, I'm just going to put my best players on line one and then hope that lines two through four can hold their own. But they can't. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean shit. So splitting up trying pairs and working, like, different teammates through different stars or whatever. Don't lose it. He's poking it away. They need a goal. Oh, how did he not get that pass? Oh, that almost trickled in, bro. Shit, sorry, Russ. Oh, good save. Nice move, Russ. No one's there for me, thanks. The Canucks have it now. Solid check to slow him down. And he comes up with the Oh my god, he's lying down. It's wild, bro. Someone scored. I kinda hope it's oh I was gonna say I hope that the Canucks scored just to like help them get in a little bit. It's not looking Gucci for them. Offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. And they win the draw on their own end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. He's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one. But he oh, I'm not set up. I'm not set up right. Oh, again, so there was a better option, bro. Quick pass to Kuzmenko. Fires it on net. Shit. Oh, oh, right off the mask. Well, James, that brings new meaning. Pass it up, pass it up. Oh, he didn't. That's offside. He refused to pass it. That's on me. But sometimes you got to continue. Exactly, cause. Like, that's what well, that's what happened with uh, Dreisaitl as well. He was, a, he was the first liner, but then they, instead of starting him in first line, they've actually had him with on the second line. Right now, though, obviously, you got to love McDavid, and you got to love Dreisaitl. But right now, I'd say one of my favorite players on the, t on the Oilers is Hyman. I love his tenacity and his hardworkingness. It's just awesome. He's such a likable guy. He's been a clutch pickup. There you go. Yeah, the boos are going to come out like crazy. Raining down. They sigh. Yeah, well, they gave up. They've given up. They needed to win game three. 
I've given up. Oh, wow. Oh. They're cheering like it's like 5-4 right now. What a save by, oh my god, dude, get him. Holy shit, how the hell did Vols do that? I, that should have been in the net. Impressive. It's plays like that that make a good goaltender. You can be whatever you are on paper, but if you can make shit like that. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Ah, pokey away. Couldn't get control. Oh, God, he's right in the way. Oh, I tried to get in front of him with that screen, but... They got anything planned for that side? I mean, having a birthday on a weekday, there's not a whole lot you can do, I guess, right? But... Just trying to break free. Oh. They've, I mean, there's still a third period to play. How the hell did I not pick that up? Managed to get a pass off. That's impressive. It's a good pass. Good pass. Good pass. Oh, I actually tried to pass. Didn't work. Let's get off. Oh, they do, boo. Can't go wrong there, man. How old are you turning? Just around the corner, we'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm gonna get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight. Oh man, that I would have been gone. Two thirds of the way to the finish line, and this. Oh my God, that sounded brutal. Fucking hell. Taken care of because it gets hit again, it will shatter. So safety is of the priority right now, James. The Canucks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Chicago's in on the Sorry, offensive offside there for a sec. My bad. I had to be careful. I didn't want to get charged or a boarding call. The Canucks will play it from the defense. I think it did break. Oh, fucking him up. Let's go. Good pass. I'm behind the defenders. <laughs> I needed a bit more speed. Oh, so you've already cracked them 30s. How are your knees doing? Are they cracking? <laughs> I've noticed an increase in cracks the, from the old kneecaps. <laughs> possession in their own end through the neutral zone now picking up steam takes the feed at the point here's a shot i laid down but it wasn't enough oh what a close save there well this is a really great save james i mean you can see that he's battling for position you can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck that's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make a save puck grab by jones Go, 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 go. Nice pass. Oh, that was a weird... Oh, it's in anyway.
kicking motion? I don't think he meant to. I honestly don't think he meant to do it. You know what? Here's my thing about as, as we're getting older. Yes, we get more crow's feet and shit like this, but I will say something. I feel like as a generation, millennials and what have you, even Gen X, um, I'd say we are aging better than past generations. Life is a little bit... Uh, I don't even know. Like, for example, we're not, you know, drinking cyanide in, like, all of our medications and shit. <laughs> I mean... Like, technology's advanced to the point where we're not putting... Oh, there you go. Putting garbage in us as much. It's a bit of both. So my point is, this is what I like to use as a benchmark. If you ever think you're old-looking, watch Ghostbusters. Okay? Watch Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd in that movie is 29. Bill Murray is 33. You're telling me Bill Murray looks 33? In Ghostbusters, that man looks 40, like 45 or something. He's no way 30. I, when I, even watching that as an adult, I'm like, that man is not 33 right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, like, I feel like I won't look B Bill Murray, like, in Ghostbusters until I'm, like, at least in my 40s for sure. <laughs> oh, good poke check. All right, I'm leaving. Hey, what up, Disney? 36 months at the membership. Received your shirt? Sick. Again, sorry for the delay on that. Hope it fits well. Hope it feels good. Hope you rep it proudly, my brother. I don't know why I hit him. I'm surprised that was not interference, but I, I think it's because he had... Had the puck briefly. They give you a bit of leeway when depending who touched the puck last. Okay, he was 32. That's even worse. That's even worse. He was 32 when it was filmed. And he looks the same. Oh, that's dirty. Damn. That's a hattie, bro. I just realized it's 10 to 2, bro. It's, it's, it, like, it's not even, like, fair. Gets the puck over to Quinn. Good read with the stick to break that up. Takes the puck. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. Too much congestion in front. Oh my god. Oh, how did he miss? The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Russ's got it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Latang. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Broken up by Jones. And the puck's not loose. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. I think I technically bounced into it. I don't know if I passed it, though. Nice pokey. Hold it, hold it. Get your stamina back. Or whatever you can. Chicago's got the edge of the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. The Canucks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Musa oh, he did get it. And he takes the pass. In. 
I saw him poke check and I knew I could get it in that way. It's Samarta. I want them to boo, boo everybody right out the building. They want him out of here. I can make your cheeks clap. The Blackhawks have had no short of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized and look at the scores of result. Chicago's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. I'll head off, why not? We've done enough damage. Done enough damage to this team. I mean, the uh, I don't know what world Chicago would beat Vancouver 11 to 2. But it's this one. We're going to get the conference championship right there, baby. Going to the Stanley Cup Finals, that'll be a special, special time. I can't remember if they show the trophy in this or not. Yeah, there you go. The old print. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. I'm not the captain, so I didn't get that. Captain picks it up. It's a murder. Anyway, we're on our way. Got the Clarence Campbell trophy in our midst. Okay. Guys, it's time. I hope you're all ready. Because it's about to go down. Simulate. I'm just curious who we're going to end up playing. I'm just... What I'm going to do before we, like, advance the day... Let's go to Stats Central. And we'll check the playoff tree right now and see where people are sitting. That was a sweepage. Oh, Carolina's looking to take Boston out. I wasn't expecting that at all. He yeah, has a slapper like crazy, but can't skate. Is that goal regulation size? What? Jeez. You never know. Boston can whip that shitty. But let's see if we're playing. If it's going to be Canes or if it's going to be. There's still time. Nope. It's going to be Canes. There wasn't enough simming days. Your performance this, in this playoffs has been outstanding. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll be a contender for the Con Smythe. I think so. It's a storyline one. Thanks, coach, and congrats to you, too. It's all, all a product of team effort. Being honest, I'd like to get the Con Smythe. How about I give you more ice time until the final? In exchange, you keep the performance that you've shown. You, more? So win the Con Smythe. 
Do I get, I get ankle breaker f as a future reward. I can't believe he's like, I'll give you more minutes. Like, bro, you already give me a ton. Thanks, have a great one. You too, coach. Bye. Now, once once I finish the playoffs, usually regardless of what happens, you'll usually get a ton of, like, skills. You know, those skill points or the X-Factor skills. So, we'll hopefully be able to equip. Because we only have the one. Normally, we would have had a second one by now. But, at least in past games. Yeah, it's Carolina. I figured they've been playing well. Canes are a good team, man. They are. How's our skill tree versus money? Yeah, we haven't made any more money. You know why? Because it, it's the playoffs. We'll probably get something at the end of the playoffs. So, it's the finals now. It's the finals, baby. Paco has something to say. Here we go, Stanley Cup finals. Paco always has something to say. Hey, Dan, what's up? You're about to play game one of the Stanley Cup finals. Your rookie season. How do you feel about this? I can only, I can already imagine hoisting that. I need to get a brand up. Hurricanes have said they're accepting nothing less than winning the Stanley Cup. What do you say about that? They can talk all they want about winning the Cup, but I won't hear them over the sound of the goal horn every time I score. Damn, that's disrespectful. This is going to be amazing finals. Good luck. You always have to sound like a dick. And the team is like, wow, what an asshole. To be fair, when you score 11 goals against a team that's a top contender... I feel like you're allowed to be a bit of a douche. As you can see, actually, my brand is actually... Oh, I, I mixed it up. Usually, it's my brand that's low. My brand's good. My teammate likeability is actually lower. So, I got to... Anytime I see teammates, that's when I got to increase it. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, brand's low and teammate's max, but... Whatever. It's going to be interesting. I just want to see. I, I think what the reverse retro was the Whalers... Yeah, the original one. The Hartford Whalers. I was I was I was alive to see imagine imagine this. Let's go ahead and play two red jerseys. It's gonna be so confusing out there. Um But you know what I mean. So going into this big game, any sort of advice to get your mind right for this one, Razor? Well, no, actually, there's there's nothing that's perfect. There's nothing that really fits in a in a in a box that you can say this works for everybody. But the key is to try not to overthink it. No matter what you do, it's still a stick and a puck in the game you know. Setters glide. It's time. Why are we getting a Let's Go Canes chant in in Chicago? God, fucking Fairweather fans, bro. Oh! Already. I forgot about this. I love the Stanley Cup patch. Thanks, Jerry. Quinn's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Hurricanes are on the attack. Quick shot. Oh, they give a punch to the face. Somewhere in traffic. Quick feed to Latang. And he moves it up to Quinn. All right, I forgot Burns is on this team, but he's only a number eight. It's weird seeing him eight and not number eight, but I think Ajo's 88, so he didn't want to take his number. We're still in the early stages of this period. One nothing is where we sit at this point. Carolina's won the draw. They take possession here in the open ice. Feeds the puck over to Jarvis. Moves around along the half wall. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Into the zone. Oh, no, that didn't work out.
to the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Blackhawks win it in the defensive zone. Oh, it's, sometimes they take too long to pass it. Oh, I fucked up Burns. Look at that. You can hear his ankle shatter on that one. His kneecap shatter, I mean. Poked away by Burns. Looks to pass it to Slavin. Chicago's looking to break out. And the puck's kicked free. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Slides it diagonally to Jarvis. Moves the puck. Getzel swooping in on the attack. Oh! Whoops! That was a blast of a shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is it just spiders, but it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Moves it to Quinn. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow. Oh, pokey. Quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving. His I didn't mean to shoot it. There you go. Hey, Swifty, how you doing, brother? This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blackhawks have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Here's a short pass to Tara Heinen. Barlamov's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Yeah, no worries, bro. I totally understand how it is. Chicago's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Oh. Handles the pass. Great pass from off the right side. Jarvis looks around. Oh, that's poopy. And I think he put this in on his own. Uh, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. Carolina's counterpunched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, you can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something. Resetting and finding a way to create some much-needed offense. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Latang's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it quickly over to... Oh, that's not who I wanted, but it still sets him up. And he takes the dish. shot on that James you get in tight you have an opportunity in that scoring area and you don't even get a shot on that not good enough grabbed along the board by Burns letting him know out here through the middle of the ice they enter the attacking zone takes that pass back to the point here's a shot and it's stopped by the glove nice play oh shit my bad I couldn't figure out who I wanted to pass to take it along Oh, good attempt. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Tries to feed it over to Rust. Oh man, what happened there? I think it was, I got stuck, my own teammate got stuck on it. That's obviously icing. Swifty, thank you very much for the gifted, bro. Much love to you. Oh, let me just, I'm, I'm looking at it. It's going to annoy me if I don't. There we go. Won the face off and now let's see what they can do. The coach and oh no! That's how you do it! Leadership to a team! Wow. Captain capitalizes. That sucks. Alright, they tied it up. Stalls won the draw inside the neutral zone. Slides the puck across to Shatton. 
Kirk. Stahl's gonna play it against the half wall. Oh my god! It's so much easier to get a quick release shot off when that puck is sitting flat on your stick. And guess what? It's a heck of a lot more accurate as well. This time, though, the goaltender read it perfectly and makes the save. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Been a fun one so far. Another side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Oh, I tried to pass across ice. Oh, that's annoying. That would have been a goal, I think. Oh, good save. Because they've mismanaged the puck and they've had way too many turnovers. And he makes that save as well. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. What a great read breaking up the pass. And now it's over to Natchez. Slick feed. Tremendous save by Parlamo. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, I should have waited a second. To the low slot, and he shuts the door again. Quick feed to Natchez. Couple of good chances. Carolina's moving it into the offensive end. Into the corner now. Got in the way. Traffic in the lane. Oh, how did I miss that? Good save. track the puck but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot and that's exactly what happens here out battling out willing and you make the save lots of hockey left to be played in this period the next goal could be a big one as we are tied the Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone oh my no dude he put it in his own net Oh my gosh. James, how Bro. Dude, it was an own goal. What are you talking about? The Blackhawks win the That's draw. annoying. The Guys, you want to win the cup or not? Got to do this myself. Now I now I've been Quinn's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a shot. Just gets enough to keep it out. Goes right to the there we go. Let's get it right back. I told you. I'm getting it. Enough of this garbage. All right, we tied it back up. To play. We got a tie game. Quinn's won the draw center. Takes the field. Ah, uh, they they took too long to pass to me, so I had no rhythm. Great game offensively. James has been all over the ice, really buzzing around. The reason why he's got three Hold it, Barls. Barlamov's going to hang on for a whistle. The center may glide into position. Blackhawks win the draw. Passes it over to Jones. Chicago's on the attack. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I was trying to deke down. I didn't mean to shoot yet. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Oh god. The Death Star horn, yeah. I mean, it would throw your opponents. Oh, we got another one. Good. I wasn't on board for it, but. Stall side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Quinn's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do. The bats are back. Throws it in. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Guesses across the line now. And on Shot for the boards. And he turns that one aside. Oh, 
Oh no, I wanted to pass it towards the blue line. I wish he shot that. He shouldn't have passed it to me. Oh, it was free. He's tired. Oh my God. Keep going. Try it again. Oh my God. What are you doing? He wouldn't pick up the puck! Guys, I was literally mashing forward. Oh my god. What is going on? That's insanity, bro. How did that not go in? He wouldn't pick up the puck automatically. He's just sitting there waving at it. Still got a power play. This power play is insane. Oh man, that might have been interference. I can't believe that stayed out. Pujarvi? Get it in there! <laughs> He's all over the place! Oh my god! This is insanity! How is he still on? Jones! Holy hell. Of play as he extends the stick. That's a lot of playing Not time for me. Quinn's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Moves it to Latang. Why would he shoot that? There was no, nothing even open. Whoa, how did that happen? And the officials waving off icing here. Answers hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holy shit. What a series. Holy balls. Oh, almost. Man, this, that was an insane possession. I can't believe that. We're on the power play again. Oh, no. There was so many opportunities to score. It just never happened. And the bats are back. Oh, what the hell? He's down. Oh, I tripped on him. Go. Bit of a yeah. I was a bit far out. Trying to get the puck out of his own end, and clearing attempt is a big success on that play. How do they keep beating us down here? Like their four check is super strong right now. Oh my god. Holy shit. Knocking him down. This is crazy hockey, bro. I cannot believe it. How have we not scored yet? Who is that to, bro? Honestly, that was a terrible pass. Oh god, what a save! My gosh. They are not they're not joking around. Oh, I gotta head off. Alright. Third period of game one. It's a close one, man. It's a close one. So many, like, honestly, you gotta give goalie some, you know, some credit here. Make some more passes.
Well, Let's the score. youngster is getting some words here from his coach. What's the message being shared now here, Cheryl? Well, control what you can control and to get out there and continue to do what you're doing because it's working. Uh, yeah, the underlying metrics would definitely say after the game that they're creating a ton of chances. So don't get frustrated. Stay present. Stay in the moment. Quinn's got it. They'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. The Hurricane slide it through center. And that's poked away by Jones. Chicago's got it. Oh, no. Zone. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Slavin. Chicago's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Stop giving up the puck. Oh, my God. Whoa. Works it across to Quinn. And he gives it up. Man, Burns is getting weathered out there. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender. Oh, it didn't work. They have another penalty. They keep doing this. It's restricting their ability to get back in it. I don't know why they don't play me at the start of the power play. It's really bizarre. You want your starter, your strong players out there. First and second liners. But they have a strat. Puck sent over to Quinn. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Chicago's going to play it from the Oh, I tried to get it to the slot. A nice takeaway in the defensive end by Hannafin. Ooh, almost Carolina took it. Carolina has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away... Nice steal. Let's go. Teams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pre-game, how important it was going to be. Oh, it's too bad. How many bodies in the way? And he takes the feed. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Johnson. Slides it over with pace to Quinn. Chicago's playing it from the side. Oh, I tried to pass it off, but I, I lost my pass, so I just never did it. Made me a target. Carolina's got it behind the net. And it's a quick pass to Burns. Moves inside. Chicago's got the puck now. Oh man, he got fucked up. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Slavin got it against the boards. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Damn. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a one goal game here. 4-3 is where we sit. And they win the draw here in their own end. Latang's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. All right, let's see if we can get the extra man. Still got it, still got it, still got it. Ah. Oh. Hey, Darren, how you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Bum, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Wait, I just realized there's another penalty. They're trying to get these shorthanded goals, but it's not happening. Quick pass across to Gensel. Chicago's got it across the line. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, I almost got tripped again. Up the neutral zone now. Textbook poke check by Johnson. Oh, he shouldn't have that. Oh shit, that, that's going to be an icing unless I can beat him. I can beat him, I can beat him. Rebound! This is wild, bro. Bless you. Oh, I said, oh, I passed to it all. I didn't pass down. Oh, my God. He saved it. So scary, man. This game has been close the whole whole time. Oh, bad pass. Oh, 
Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a oh, chance. man. He had a man in his way, but he had to try. Man, goalie is on one. Oh, bad shot. What are you doing? Heading off. Now, it's, it's, it's final, yeah, Stanley Cup Finals game one. All right, we managed to hold them off. I got to give them credit, though, for that defense. We still managed to get that goal, but that was a battle the whole time. And I hope it's like that because I like seeing, I like to be able to battle for the cup. I know Ray and I were talking between periods a couple of times and just really impressed by how this kid Sorry. showed up. Uh, we'll hear from both sides. Anyway, game two. Again, game one was mad close. We got to let them know out here, big players. Oh, I'm super stoked, man. I love playoff hockey. It's just such a different... Like, it's just such a different atmosphere this season has gone by mad quick i have to say Hi, it's James for EA Sports. Well, after an intense showdown, the bats are back we expect nothing less here in game two a critical game for both sides here and we are underway the blackhawks carry it along the wall oh pick it up yeah that Capitals probably ain't going to make it past the the Rangers. Honestly, I'd be very surprised if they did. I had to try. I'd rather make the pass to a much higher chance than take a shot that's just going to be saved anyway. Oh, man. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I bumped it off its rungs. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Kings in five. That is a bit of a laugh, though. I mean, I, I feel like we can get past the Kings. It depends who we play in the second round. Like, we played the Kings. Uh, for the, This is the third year in a row we played the Kings in the first round. And... We have won the last two seasons against them. But anything could happen. But the thing is... The Oilers are like, we know this team, so that's what I mean, they know it well, so that's a good advantage. I don't want to say anything and jinx it, obviously, but Can't, if anything, it'd be like, I, th I think it's going to go six games. Bro, I cannot get it in. Oh, my God. Nitras carries it through the neutral zone. Great reach with the poke check by Latang. Jones moves it ahead. And now he angles it across to Gensel. And that was <laughs> that makes more sense. I... <laughs> by 
Oh, whoops. I didn't realize I had picked it up. My bad. I thought it was my teammate who had it. I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Man, so we're down a goal. No matter what I do, they seem to be saving it. Uh, Eastern Conference fail favor. Fa yeah. Eastern Conference favorites, I think, are probably going to be either... Um, I want to say the Rangers are a favorite. Maybe the Canes. Uh, and in the West, if I'm honest, I'd probably say uh, Dallas and maybe Vancouver. I, I, I'm not mentioning... I'm not mentioning the Avs because even though the Avs are a great team, they've just been struggling lately. But they could turn it around. The Avs are very possible. See, why did he not slap that out of the air? That's annoying. I guess it would have been a high stick. We need a goal. Oh, God. That's, see, that kind of shit's frustrating. Nice poke. The Blackhawks gain possession in their own end. To the front. Oh, I couldn't squeeze it home. He makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Damn it. The Hurricanes will play it from the defense. Quick, change, change, change. I'm on the wrong side of the ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Yeah, usually those who win the President's Cup don't end up winning at all, but. Oh, I forgot about the Jets. The Jets are also a top tier team for sure. They're a good chance. Honestly, there's a lot of competition this year. They're all very, very good teams. The wild card teams, obviously, I think are the least likely to do anything, but. Oh shit, I lost it. Yeah, Boston, Boston's got some cheddar too, but Let's see what happens. Literally, it could be anybody. Literally anybody, because like on paper, a team can be better, and then and then lose. So it really—that's the thing that's great about the playoffs. You never know what's gonna happen. Oh, that's my first. That's my first penalty in the finals. That's not good. Yeah, the Jets Jets are, are really strong. And Hellebuck is probably one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie in the league right now. So that is very important. Having a good goaltender really is a difference maker. But you never know. Like, for example, a team that ends up beating their, their, their opponent in two rounds, right? They might have had a harder go of it. And then the team that would have smoked the team that made it through in the other rounds... You know what I mean? Like, there might have been a very good chance of them beating them. So, like, things like that. So, for example, let's just say the Oilers take the next two rounds. And for some reason, the Jets lose in the second round. And they would have faced them in the conference finals and probably beat them, for example. But, you know what I'm saying? So, you never know what can happen. It just depends what team deals with what. One team might have the oh shit. One team might have the other's number while the other one doesn't. Oh my god! Oh, how did he make that save? No way! Bro, that is garbage. There's no way that he made that save. How did he make that save? We had him beat. Wild. Athleticism and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual. And this is what winners are made of. Puck is scooped up here inside the offense. Uh, this is game two of the Stanley Cup Finals, as we, we took game one, but game two, we're struggling to get a goal here. And they've got one. Go. Go, Rusty. Go. Oh shit, that didn't work. My bad. 
I tried to get it to Russ. But I think he just rushed his shot, and as you can see, it claims off the end boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. I mean, Curry, I know, based on... Oh, God. Oh, no. They're fighting. Um, Curry was... I was too young to really know that that era of Oilers, unfortunately. I was, you know, I wasn't even alive during that time, but... Jesus. The shots come from the middle of the ice and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. That was a rough shot. I was out of position though. I had to get something. I wonder if a pass back would have made sense. You get a sense this is we need a, a goal call sort of message from the coaching staff don't you we're think? fighting well, through the cheese such a flat game james and i think that the coach is just turning to the rookie and this would give you confidence when the coach turns to you and say hey we need something we've got to ignite a fire and we're sending you out there to do it past the halfway mark of this period carolina's got some breathing room as they lead it to nothing stalls won the face off burns works the puck in his own zone and they'll dump it in what was that? What the hell was that? What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't even want to go behind the net. I'm not trying to do this shit. A fight could be good for us, but... Oh. You're an absolute legend, Ezra. That's awesome, bro. Favorite Oilers player? I don't know. It depends, because, like, I mean, you got to love Gretzky. You know what I mean? But I wasn't around for that era. But, I like, it depends if you're thinking nostalgia's sake. Like, I don't know. Like, there are, like, fan favorites. Yes! Within one. Let's go. We need that. Oh, uh, Semenko is good, too. Number 27. He doesn't actually come up in conversation that much. I know he has a lot. He still does a lot for the Oilers organization, especially with the kids. But they didn't they haven't retired his number. The Hurricanes cross the blue line and are on the attack. I think the next number to get retired would be McDavid's. The retiring his number no matter what happens with him. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Quinn. Oh, there it is! Whoa! I'm literally stuck. How did I miss that hit? That's such trash. Man, we are outnumbered down there. Alright, so still 2 1. Hey, Kobe. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Uh, not really, Kots, honestly. That's not usually what I do. Oh, I was trying to go back around, but they squeezed me out, and then they didn't play. They didn't forecheck very well, so we couldn't get it back. Trying to knock over Burnsy boy. Shit, I gotta break free. Let's go. One pass. Oh, I couldn't get it through. Come on. Ooh, I had to stop. Oh, I had to make tape. Didn't make tape. Oh, what happened there? I let him get it. That's insane. 
And he misses the he misses the change. And that shot dies in traffic. Fucking hell, this is gonna be a dicey one. You can tell, like every like they're saving everything right now, so they've got the goalie sliders up high. Team's turning it over a lot. Oh God! Oh, see how is he saving that? How did he save that? <laughs> oh my God! This is so crazy. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position; it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. Handles the puck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The block. Jones took a hit. Dude, stop being cute with the puck, Jones. Chicago's got the puck. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. Kicked away. No one there for the rebound. Hey, Trevor. Chicago's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. They gain the zone from the left side. Slavin's got it in the corner. Hammers the shot. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Oh, no. Whoa! He makes the save on that play. When you're a shooter and a goal scorer, this is exactly what you love. A flat puck on your stick. You're way more accurate when it's on there. Can't get anything going. Unfortunately, the goaltender just makes the save. Four on four action. We really got to start crushing it. Slides it quickly to Gensel. Dishes it to Quinn. Nice zone entry from the right side. Come on. Yes! Finally! I needed that, man. I'm just, I'm, I was frustrated, so I decided to slap it home. I didn't even sell it, but tying it up. from the coach as the rookie makes his way back to the bench. Well, yeah, and this is positive reinforcement, and I love that he's getting this, James, because earlier they had a conversation about his specific instruction and expectations on that shift, and when you go out and you execute, and then you come back to the bench, and you're kind of looking at your coach, and they give you that reinforcement, it's a great feeling. Carolina's won the face-off at center. Tries to get it over to Kubelik. Some silent defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Oh my goodness. Get it in! What the fuck? That makes no sense, bro. That he couldn't gather the puck for one little tap in? You're shitting me. The game is cheesing. Oh, that was my puck. Now we're in the power play. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I miss the... Why? Why? Oh, that's another penalty for them, though. I, I caught a little bit of the uh, Heat Boston game. Yesterday, but not much. In the final moments of this period... You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. 
I'm losing everything now. Oh, man. I thought I paneled it. I thought I got a penalty for a second, but. Come on, buddy, stop fucking with the puck. Like, they're just, see what I mean? Like, they're just getting in these crazy positions. Oh, where did the, he just took it? Passes on over to Svechnikov. Great defensive effort with the stick. Let's it go. Love the defensive effort to get in front of that. And he slides it quickly to Gensel. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, that's a huge stop by Jerry. Oh, I gave it up. The game wants them to win this one. You can just tell it's a struggle. Every goal is like he's making these crazy sprawl saves. That's not fucking possible. A lot of turnovers. Like, God, that's that blows. I when they give it away. Like what a bad shot. Why? Gains the zone through center. With possession along the wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Jones. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh my god. A trip. Oh, the power play for 11 seconds. If we were smart, we'd get, we'd pull our goalie right now and get the two-man advantage. That's what I would do. Get it in there! Oh my God! We lose game two. Dude, none of these goals went through. That You could tell that, see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about, the difficulties. That's why I don't touch them. Sometimes they, it goes the other way too, where it's like, not at all fair, but that's fine. It's only, it's only game two, but it would have been nice to win that at home to get that uh, rolling early, you know? But don't be, don't be down on yourselves. It's 1-1. No, this is the final, Pat. This is Stanley Cup final. All right. Um. Oh wait, where's that? Yeah, this yeah game three. Sorry. You tell those were a fight for sure. Oh, that's that's the home jersey they're deciding on. See, I can't even win. I can't even win a face-off. Oh God, Russ, go, 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 Russ, go! He should have just shot it. Oh, he 
Oh, he wants to fight. Let's go. Oh, Burnsy boy, he's big. Oh, I beat Burns barely. Hopefully nobody's heard. I beat that bet. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. Oh, I actually hurt him. Who did I hurt? Whoops. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box and they'll sit for five. Oh my god, dude. Carolina's going up. Come on. They'll get set to drop the puck as this. I uh, beat the uh, Canucks. Carolina's I can't win a single thing. Drop. Honestly, they're making me lose right now. It's just Gets the way it is. Even with this power play, we're still gonna. Oh, huge open ice hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset. Of There's no reason we should. We've. Def I remember we defeated Carolina multiple times. Oh God. They don't like that I took out their boy, and I don't blame them. I should have passed it. Hey, Jason, it's good. How's yours? Sunfist ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Chicago's won the draw. Wide to the net, he missed. Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Takes it to the oh, I, dude, I passed it. Whatever. From the back of the cage with the puck. Chicago's got the puck in the corner. That's not who I wanted to pass to. Why would I want to pass there? Jari's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he has been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Stalls ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Carolina's ahead, 1-0. The Haven't won a single one. They don't want me to win. So I gotta let a motherfucker know. Come on, game. Give me one, please. Oh, so goddamn annoying. Now he takes it over the line. I need someone to pass to. Yes! Deflection. Tied it up. Good job, Rusty. Man. It's a fight. How did I not beat him there? I can't see what I'm stuck on him still. Oh my god. Dude, get out of the way! I'm trying to skate. Getting stuck on like players is so annoying. God damn it. I'm getting frustrated. Like random shit where I'm getting stuck and shit. Like it seems like we're skating through quicksand. Like, you know what I mean? Like all these opportunities. I know it's supposed to be close, but Goldie's making saves that he shouldn't be making saves. The late of the period, we got a tie Give you the download link. Dude, just fucking buy it. What makes you think I downloaded it illegally? Fuck, it's like five bucks. You assume everyone just steals games? <laughs> Ah, oh, bad, bad shot. Puts it in deep. 
The Blackhawks gain possession. Stretches one out to Quinn. Carolina's got it in the neutral zone. Burns picking up Steen. Well, then go spend money and buy it on Steam. That's what I did. I didn't download it illegally. Why assume that? That's so weird, man. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck Shit. after that hit. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a great use of the stick. Oh, good save, good save. Hold it. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Russ has been lighting the lamp at this point, Street, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Okay, so we're still tied. They are. Making saves. The horn, the first period, both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Still Finally, I won the uh, face-off, though. Here's a short pass to Gensel. Shot. He got all of it. Quick feed to Quinn. Oh, that was shitty. I gathered it. I shot, like, right as I picked it up. Goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing. Oh man, he was he, what is he going? Off the post. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Moves it quickly over to Svechnikov. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Poked away at center by Natchez. Nice connection on cross ice pass. Oh, that's penalty. Oh, Shit. We got a penalty coming up. Well, he doesn't like it, but he's going to get the charging call here. And I don't know about that. He didn't slow down, and he got all of his check. Quick pass to Natchez. The Hurricanes squander a golden opportunity to take the lead. Hold it, hold it. Roshan, listen to me. Go buy it. No one's going to give you a download link. My God, bro. Not even listening. Why bother coming in if you don't understand what anybody's fucking saying? So annoying, bro. I mean, you played it online. You must have pirated it. Like, it's literally like a couple bucks. It's so cheap right now. They're so cringy, bro. And like, I'm supposed to just stop what I'm doing and like, you know, oh, go get this link for you. Like, oh yeah, I'll just end, I'll stop my stream really quick for like the next five minutes while I get it. Selfish, entitled bastards, you know? Make, this is all about me, it's not about you. Offside. Hey, Frank. It's all tied up. Kakaniemi's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Comes up with the stop. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Pass back to the point. Picked up along the way by Kumali. Handles the pass. Moves it to Pesci. And he takes the dish. I need to so I'm tired. I got no stamina. Look at this. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Can you sub me out, bro? I need a rest. No, no, it's programmed that way, cause 100%. Here in the back half of this no, no, good judgment there is. Tied up in this one. The Blackhawks take possession after that neutral zone face off. Here's a short pass to Quinn. Oh, see what I mean? Like, that's in, bro. Fucking annoyed. Nothing goes in on purpose. And then they take dumb shots like that. It's like, what is going on? From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Slides it across to Quinn. Like, how's he making that save? It's, it's insanity. 
standing. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic and he makes a huge He shouldn't be side. making these saves. That's insane. To break up the play. And what's he doing? He gives it up. After a solid hit. And that's go, Murphy, go. Fires it on net. Oh, it's trickling in. Holy fuck. Managed to keep it in. No, what the fuck? I didn't want that. Oh, I had a small lane. Oh, I tried to pass it back. Oh, right in front, and I still didn't make it. And who was that to? See, that's so annoying. Make a better pass. This is the finals. Oh, I passed it. Good save, Varls. He could have passed it, but I think we're playing it safe. Oh god, someone scored. Please be us. It won't be. Told you. I knew it wouldn't be us. The game is making us lose right now. We played not one but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. We're doing it on purpose, bro. I can't no matter what I do, they can't beat the goalie. Just around the corner. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. So he can't win a draw. I was winning constantly. Like your teammates make dumb dumb plays. Like he's making every save. Like he's down on the fucking ground. It's in! Yes, that goldie screen. That goldie screen did it. But I am fighting. I'm on this. I'm like a point drought. The Blackhawks win possession here in the open ice. I hate that. I call for the pass. They pass it prematurely. I got rid of it. I hate it. They got to fix that. Oh my God, man. Fuck this. All right, I get it. It's an uphill battle everywhere we're going. The fuck is happening? Shit, what are you waiting for? Oh my god, dude. Are you 
Oh, this game is so cheese. All of a sudden, it decides to cheese the piss out of me. I don't even... Am I even needed? Should I even play? Like, I don't get it. Am I even supposed to be in this? If I beat the goalie, I beat the goalie. Stop making him magically save it or miss, like, ring off every single bar. It rung off, like, each post and crossbar and stayed out. Oh, my God. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Oh my god, bro. Comes up with a monster save in front. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Oh, he's down. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Chicago's game possession along the boards. And he takes the feed. Oh my god, try to get open. Jari's got the puck and he's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the feet. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Carolina's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Nietzsche's has won the draw inside his own end. Passes ahead from the right side. Back to the blue line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Jones. And he slides it. Oh, down. why was he offside? He called for the offside. We'll get a face off. More than half the frame has been played here. The Hurricanes are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. I can't win a single face-off anymore, man. It's just not possible. How does that happen? It doesn't make any sense. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. Picked up along the boards by Latang. Gets a hold of the puck for the right side. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Shot! Oh, the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. On the attack along the boards. Running out of time. I don't think we should have lost the game two, but we did. Scrum along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Almost gave it up in the slot. Here's a chance, and that's deflected off someone in front. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Curry. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Rust. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Carolina's through center right now in the offensive end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Kubalik's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Can't get a hold of that pass. Strong defensive effort. Slides the puck ahead to Gensel. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Oh, my God. Quick feed to Quinn. Rips it. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Musa Couldn't do it, guys. That's game three done. Couldn't do it. So this really puts the pressure on. We're, we don't have to win the next game, but it's almost like a do-or-die moment. I don't know what to do, man. I might be at the point where... I don't know if they're actually going to let... I don't know if they're gonna let me back in the game. Every time I sub off, there's a goal, so it's brutal. It's like, how do you hit a wall? I don't know. I'm frustrated now. It's just like, fuck. They're really gonna take the piss on it. But you can tell, like, I'm making what? Like, there's saves he shouldn't be making. He's sprawling. He's tired, and he's still making the save. Like. And they just do a generic wrist shot and it beats the goalie. It's like, man, fuck you. It does not.
This is an important win. We need to tie the series up. But, again... Start the fucking game. Like there are other teams that are better than, than Carolina, and we then we roasted them. So it's like, it's just it's just the way it is. It's the way it's programmed, you know. Teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Quinn's got it deep in the offensive end. Turn that one aside. Here's a blast. Makes no sense. Why would he do that? I gotta make hits. I gotta make passes. Sorry, guys. Chicago's on the attack. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Like he makes the save somehow. Great opportunity there. Hey Tito. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. No, Carolina's gonna score right now. Watch. Oh my god, we got the first goal. Slides it up to Quinn. And I lose it. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And now he moves it quickly to Latang. He carries the puck. Oh my god, what a bad pass. Hold on to it. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Am I down? Wow, I'm the one who got hit somehow. What the fuck is happening? Here we go, pucks in deep. The hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Alright, let's calm down. Stalls taking it from his own end. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Slides the puck to Rust. They've got some momentum here. Centering pass. And that's intercepted. Oh my god, somehow he saved it. Yes! Let's go. I went in nice and close. Let's go. I'm laying it on. I had a scoring drought that might help. And find a way to continue the momentum. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Blackhawks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. It's very important that we do build on this. Chicago's opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck off the draw. Grabbed along the board by Oh the no, I, I might have elbowed him. A penalty coming up here on the play. Damn it. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to Nosen. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Blackhawks yeah. have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. Carolina's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Made the stop on that play. Chicago's looking to break out. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Yep. It's official. Coyotes will be moving to Utah. We don't know the name of the team yet, though. Oh, that's another one. Let's go. Yes! Let's run it. Keep going. I'm not done with them. Well, the whole bench is rolling wide because they're all getting golden apples. Add the stats tonight. 
Definitely. We gotta we gotta come out strong. They could come back, bro. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Gensel's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered. Oh, from no. Word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. That sucks. We lost Gensel, one of our top scorers in the playoffs. Now we know for sure he won't Dude. Trying to pass it across. Indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of. Oh my teams. God! How's that man alive? Hold it. Lots of time left in this period. The Hurricanes are in a desperate need of a goal as they still trail by three. Tries to feed it over oh, to almost Lyman. took that. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Fires it, and it goes off a stick and off to the side. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Pesci's body language says it all. He is frustrated, and anytime you're on a team, you want it to continue to Well, quite the conversation here between the coach and the rookie, and... Cheryl, what's the message? Well, the message is we're protecting the lead, so we really don't I think they're still in uh, line, Oakland. I, mean, you want to continue to I can't remember when the actual move is happening. I think I, I think it's for the season after. You're defensively responsible and, you don't and I've heard different things. I don't know. Plays, they're going to put you in a vulnerable spot. Right, Sacramento. Right, that's what it was. It was a temporary spot. They're not in Oakland. Yeah, yeah. For, what was it for the next couple of years, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Bro, they're just making it so they catch up. I can't, I cannot win a face-off. I cannot win it, no matter what I try. Finally. Oh God, man, Hall. Shit, shit. Oh, they're on a power five on three power play. Oh my goodness me. Nietzsche's has had the face off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. The Hurricanes win the face off. Here's a fade Oh my god. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? It's five on three and the game won't let me win a fucking face off. Anxiety inducing, bro. 
takes the shot. And he comes up big with the stick save. Jim Oliver with the paddle. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Hurricanes have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Moves it over to Rust. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Quick pass to Latang. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. That's a shit shot. Why would you take it? Oh my god, now I'm getting an elbowing call. Fuck this fucking game right now. Just hit him. Why you gotta elbow him? Whatever, man. Teams are critical, especially on, Ruse. when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer. And no, able to it's not. It's not. No, it, it gets too cold. Like to take it, it would get to. We do have. A, a apparently, we do have a baseball team, but it's like I don't know. It's just for shits and gigs. I can't even remember the team name. One more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this too. Been a big night for some fantasy pool. He's watching this one. Here we go. Period number three is underway. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Blackhawks are leading in this game, but I don't know if the coaches are going to like it that much, James. Everyone's cheating on the offensive side of the puck, and it's been back and forth action packed game. But it's all about offense. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. I had to fight for that recovery. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Lots of time left in this period. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Great pass off the boards. Here's a short pass to Burns. Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time Problem is, I can't win a face-off. That's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if my brain can even do that. Now over to Latang. Rust's moving the puck through his own zone. Too much thinking. Hall's got it along the wing. Oh, my God, dude, Why? Oh, he's not even facing the right way. What? Get, there you go. He was on the ground and he shouldn't have saved mine, but he did. Fortunately, Hall was there to pick up the rebound. Like, it's remarkable that they're missing. They're down on the ground and you're telling me he's going to get up. Get fucked. You could tell it's fighting us, man. You could tell. It's like you don't miss wide open. It's see how slow the wraparound was? It's like, oh, he's going to give him some time. See, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what you do. He gets to hit my leg and let it go all the way. Instead of a block, it goes right through. Fucking over this shit, bro. That should have been a goal. And it wasn't. He's going to make those saves. And then they give up just bad passing. There you go. I'm making that extra pass. I'm making that extra pass. <laughs> I feel like I'd be able to do it, but I'd have to be like... Like, I, I have to like focus on the game, but I also have to think of like a... You know? 
I'd have to think of the quotes. <laughs> Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Chicago's got the puck against Oh, it's it. It's it's literally open crease and it's just sitting there. You have to be able to read and anticipate the play he does. I'm bringing it along. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Hurricanes win it in the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Good head Get out of the way. Defensive play as he extends the stick. The Blackhawks have the puck now. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. There you go. And he completes the That's three for him. Uh, you gotta love it, James. I mean, you really break we needed that. We gotta get this momentum rocking. I gotta break the, break this. I gotta break the cheese, break the lettuce. This is what I need to do. Oh, yes. Let's go. I don't even care anymore. I'm not a, you know what? Run, run it up on them. Oh man. And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the ball. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Oh, penalty? For whom? The officials are calling. The Blackhawks are going to be short handed because of a tripping call. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. But it's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. And now he moves it quickly to Hall. And that's knocked away. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Quick feed to Jarvis. Holy shit. Over. Here they come on the attack. Well, I did not look where I aimed. I went top left and it went right in his crest. How does that make sense? Chicago's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense and they lead here in the third. And they win the draw here in their own end. Directs it on over to Burns. Keeps possession on the play. Great feed from the left side. Handles the pass from the right wing. Quinn's got it behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Latang. And he takes the feed. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him. Not bad, uh. Chicago's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. The Blackhawks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save! It was all that in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he passes it to Svechnikov. Well, the game nice job with the stick. Is it, James, as it's going back and forth, goals from all as players shoot from all angles. Oh my god, zone. Chris again. Absolute gangsta and shit. Chris gifting another 20. Fuck yeah. Neither team given an inch in this series and 
Goodness me. Let's go, bro. Thank you so much, man. Fuck yeah. Let's get it. Whew. Thank you, bro. That's 40 gifted just from him alone today. Let's see if I can undo it now or if it's still going to be pinging. I don't know. Shit will ping like crazy. What's up, Monet? Good gosh. Hey, Raiders. I've tried Michigans, and they're very hard to do in this game. I haven't been able to get it to work, and I don't really want to risk it in the finals. I'm, depending how quickly I get through this, um, I might, uh, I might do it. Uh, like, in a, if I start, like, you know, depending how long the stream is, I might do another, like, start the next season. Maybe we'll do it then. Holy balls. See, I don't understand how I only have the one ability. I have slots, but I only have the one ability unlocked. See what I mean? I have an empty spot, but I don't have another one yet. See, a lot of them are, like, win the Stanley Cup and shit. Yeah, I'm going to play top spin. I just don't know if I'm getting the early version or not. It's so expensive, and I'm just worried it's... I don't know. I, I might gamble and just pay for it and play it early. Because, like, even the regular edition on PS5 is expensive as fuck. So it's like, for an extra 30 bucks, you can play it three days early and get some good content going, but... Alright guys, we're back home. Sorry Jones, that was not a good pass. Oh, I tried to make one more pass. Nice stick. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Take it along the wall by Jones. Go! Break away, go! Why would he do that? I hate that the same button, the buttons to check are the same as shoot, so it's like you're trying to sh pick up a loose puck and he's just doing that, you know, like an idiot. Important to really find a way to gain that confidence and composure and get a good start. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. And they win the offensive zone face off and here we go. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And he's ridden off the puck. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, man. Into the corner now. Who is that to, bro? He's on to the puck after taking a hit. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Varlamov. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up. Oh, I was long gone. Chicago's moving the puck through center ice. Drives to the ah. Point. Decides to think about it. Now a quick pass to LeTang. Can't connect on the shot. Trying to shake the defender. Oh! 
Dude, I even got in front of him and he still made it. Bullshit. Hey, boss, yeah. It's the final. This has been a battle. Battle and a half. It's series is tied 2 2. Watch him get another one. Yep. It's back. May give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent, try and get another one on the board. Past the halfway mark of this period, Carolina's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. With possession along the wall. Turned aside by Jari. There's the That's brutal, man. I'm honestly nervous about this one. I might I might not be able to win the cup. They decided to flick on this random switch where what no matter what they do works. The Hurricanes have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Jari's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Svetlikov's depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. Quinn's good at losing defenders with his spin around the zone ability. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Ah, oh, he had to pass sooner. Oh shit, what am I doing? Yes! I saw that. I had him leaning over, so I had to go backhand. All right. The Blackhawks have jumped right back into this one here in the first. Well, they certainly have, and they found their momentum late in the period here, James, as they counter and they get themselves back in the game within one. Here in the later stages of this period, Chicago's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Jarvis looks around. Moves the puck across to Hurdle. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Yes! And we tie it up. Let's go, boys. That's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there in that scrum. Stopped by the goaltender. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Quinn's won the draw and they'll look to set up. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. From the left side, they enter the offensive. Oh, if that made to me. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Carolina's got it along the wall. Whoa. Got that one. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, Jesus. Lugging the puck. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. One pass, Hurdle. I'm surprised he didn't pass it. Is frozen and will get a face off. And they win the offensive zone face off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, great shot. Oh, I didn't realize I had no time, bro. Oh, I would have been so much faster on the shot. My bad. I would have kept the pressure alive. Oh, 
I've given up much in the opening frame. And here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Hurricanes. Yeah, I had nowhere to go. Tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots and really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're gonna have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game. Takes the feed. Rust's got it in the offensive end. Quick shot, and that's broken up. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. What the fuck happened there? Pumps the puck away. Quick feed to Quinn. Oh, great setup. Great save to stay with it. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Breakaway. Fuck you. Breakaway? Man, you can't do that. My teammates let them get on this crazy offensive strike. And it's like, I can't beat this team. It's wild. They just keep getting these options. See, like, he shouldn't have gotten that. There was two defenders on him. One could have gone above. One could have gone low. But instead... Why are you not shooting? See what I mean? That should have been right in the slot. And he doesn't take the shot. I know he's a defender, but... And get out of the slot then. Why are you in the, why in the slot? That's not a great shot. You didn't have a lane. So they take it anyway. Oh, I tried to get a hard pass, but there's too much. The Hurricanes have it now. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against... Dude, what are you doing? Pass it up. across to Hurdle. Along the half wall with the puck. Dude, it was right there. Why would it... Ah, fucking god damn it. Like, why would I want to do that? Just pass the fucking guy. He was right in front and instead it misses. Like, oh, please don't get another goal. Please, no, no, no. Well, we lost this game. It's a struggle to get back in it. It's complete struggle. Oh my god. The game is supposed to automatically grab passes. It's literally missing passes. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Chicago's and over this shit, bro. Shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. Like, why is that happening? He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. More than half the frame has been played here. The Hurricanes lead it 4-2. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Yes! That was a move and a Dude, don't be doing that, Selly. That's disrespectful. We still got work to do. Oh, that would have been mine, but I was I had to finish my hit. 
fuck this. It's not possible. It's over. They keep doing shit like that, bro. Look, we're stuck in this. Look at this. I'm stuck in here. Cover the open man. Bullshit. Oh my god, that's not what was supposed to. And there, I got tripped. And they're not even gonna play me. Yeah, I'll admit that wasn't a clear shot, but dude's making every save, so. Now, he had him beat. I'm surprised that didn't go in. The full pressure means jack shit when they don't want it to. Someone get open. The yes! We're not out of this yet. Let's go, boys. I wouldn't be surprised if Carolina got another goal right now, though. Seriously, we'll get so watch us fast forward here. Sim, and they'll get a goal. And they're on the power play. Like, it's a lot. This is very high scoring. It's crazy how many goals they're getting. We'll get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Honestly, when I get subbed off, I'm nervous that when we come back, we're going to be down another goal. Slides the puck to Quinn. Tries to get it to Rust. Reaches out and uses the stick. Monster save by Jerry. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position. He no! He reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Oh, a get the puck, please. Just get a stick on the puck. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Touch it! A nasty whack, and the official's all over that one. Wait, a nasty... How many delayed penalties are there? All on the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Oh, my God. Guys. During that time, we got another penalty. It's a five on three now, and both penalties are starting at the same time. Oh my god. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They got to find a way to get That is brutal. The they're going to score. They find themselves killing a penalty. Oh, they got one too. Four on three power play. So they must have gotten a power play or penalty. That was rough. Go. Keep the pressure. Oh, man. Oh, I tried to keep it in. No! Somehow we're on the power play and they didn't score in that five on three. That's terrible. Rebound. No one's there. See, I had him beat, but because I, my animation had to finish, he's just hitting nothing. Oh, 
That knocks him off the puck. Oh! No! I almost got a I almost got an interference call there. That's remarkable. Puck slid down the ice. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rust. Here's a shot! Ah! The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck under man. Chicago's one goal deficit remains intact as the man advantage unit can't convert. Why'd you shoot that? That's trash. We got to stop until the puck sails over the glass. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Nine goals and counting so far. It's 5 4. Chicago's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Get it in there. What do you do? See what I mean? He's sit sitting there looking at it, bro. What are you doing? Like, he's... Oh, look at that. Is that a puck? What is that? Oh. Like... Like, my guy won't shoot the puck. Just get pucks on net. Pucks on net is so important right now. Some great pushes to get to the top of the to save from a high danger area. Chicago's got the puck inside the offensive zone. I'm stuck on players. I'm stuck. See, I hate getting stuck on other guys. It's like the most annoying thing. Your, t your player gets stuck on every player in the in the world. Ugh, God, it's so much. We gotta get this. I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. They try a huge hit against the glass. Sure. The physicality in this game, but now there's gonna be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass it is broken. The Blackhawks continue to trail here in the third period despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Nietzsche wins the faceoff. Slides the puck over. On the attack along the boards. That's Good save, Varls. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooters in There's still time, but... And man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Getting closer to the we need the fans to be loud right now, but they're not. The Hurricanes are holding on to a one-goal lead. It's 5-4. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quinn swooping in on the attack. Serving pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop. From one point man to another. And there's... Yes! It's tied! Let's go! Oh my, and it's a Hattie for Russ as well. Oh my god, we're not out of this yet. I gotta play some solid defense though. What a goal. But these these sons of bitches don't last long. Coach is getting into the rookie's ear here and Cheryl, what's being said? Give us a sense of what you think might be going on. Well, I think the coach wants more from the group, and they're leaning on the rookie to do it. I mean, that's got to send a great message to the rookie year as well as the entire team that they have faith in the youngster to get out there, drive the offense, and break the tie. Nietzsche wins the draw at center. Oh, you trip him. That is not what we need right now. Because they don't have me on the kill. All right, we caught a break. Had to pass quick. Steps across the blue line. Oh no. Still got it. Stuck. There's been so much offense in this game, James. Who's on the power play? Oh, Carolina's still on the power play. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tack, but clearly the game's changing. 
Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Oh man, Hurdle! I don't know why he gave up on it there. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Oh no, someone scored. Someone scored, guys. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Can't win anything. And he gives it over to Glendening. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Wow. Nothing I can do when you sub off and score, you know? What am I supposed to do about that? I, I'm not I'm not the one involved in the play. Kind of over this shit, bro. You can't win this game. It's just like, well, I, I hope my teammates can keep it. I love how, like, we go shorthanded. We go five on three. They go five on three. And they manage to keep that up with five on five. Nah, they can't handle that. It's fucking garbage. All this work I have to do. Like, six to five? That's a crazy amount of goals, man. Get, just get it. Oh, and then we get stuck on each other. We can't go after the puck. And I don't even hit him, even though I'm holding it. Like, there's time, but we got to go, or else we're going to be defending. Do not shoot that. What the fuck are you doing? I'm over this right now, man. Shit passes. I'm offside, of course. And we'll get a face off after the offside call. Yeah, literally all season. It's just they're not gonna play me again. I don't know why you wouldn't want me out there for the ra last little bit. Someone scored. They did. They scored because we pulled. Was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier? He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Fucking garbage. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Everything I do, it doesn't go in. Like their goalie is like, he's not even a, like he's not a bad goalie, but he's not he's not the best goalie. Like that should be in, bro. I had him beat. Fucking garbage, bro. It's like how much how much more do I have to deal with? This is game six, and we're the ones losing right now. So this does this has never happened to me so far. So this, and if I want to win the cup, it's gonna go all seven games. It has to go all seven games if I want to win the cup. And I don't know, man. I don't think it's happening. It's it's at this point where it's we we get like goals, 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 and then they just catch right up. So it's like I'm not sure what they want me to do. So I'll be right back, guys. Just gonna get lunch and bathroom and stuff.
All right, back. Okay, so I'm gonna try something quick. I got some, uh, they gave me some skill points, some trade points, which is nice. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Uh, let's go to the skill tree. So that means I have three uh, trade points to utilize. Um, I gotta make sure it makes, oh, I'm a 90 overall now. So that's good. This, one of these might bring me up higher. Bringing my deking, this requires a three trait point to spend it, and it brings my deking up to an 81 from an, I don't know where it even is. It's at a 79, so this will bring it to almost an 81. Not quite, but that could be good. I mean, I have to do things that really make sense. Like right now, my discipline is going to stay low because that's penalties. My poise, like this is just your speed. I, I can afford a bunch of stuff here now. My acceleration, I could boost it. It's a level three. My speed also can make it really high. It's a, that's a two trader. That's a two trade point right there. I don't know, man. I honestly think my deking should get boosted. Just because that'll help us. Because we've been struggling to put it in the back of the net. So there you go. So what I'm going to do quickly is actually make a save. So I'm going to save and exit. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to kind of hard close the game. I'm dead serious. That is actually a way to kind of reset the game from all its cheddar. It's basically, it's basically like washing the dishes. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, there's all this shit on the grater, so let's clean it off. Like, you get into, like, this slider. You're fighting the sliders. The thing is, though, we, we're going in hot. You know what I mean? We were going into this finals hot. And right off the bat, they made Carolina, like, like I'm... Like, I played, like, on six difficulties higher. It's crazy. And the problem is, even if you're holding off, um, you know, their, their, their offensive attacks and things like that, their pushes, you sub off, and it's like, well, I hope my, my players can handle it. You know what I mean? Uh, here we go. Elimination game. So, it's do or die. it is do or die. I have to win this or I'm done. Here in this Stanley Cup final. They gotta be better. They gotta be better as a team. And I'll tell you what. And it's an away game. We really needed that dub. Leadership. Look to the rookie. Kid's been great so far going into this one. And I feel like he's been the one who's kind of been the cat. I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna do all I can. Ray, going into a game like this has got to be the calm before the storm for the rookie, isn't it? What goes through your mind? Where do you go? Uh, everybody does it a little different. Now, the rookie likes to get out there early. He goes into the bowl of the rink, listen to some music, tape his sticks. For myself, I like to stay in the locker room and really save the rink for game time. A chance to move on is in store here tonight. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski here for EA Sports. Game number six is set to go down. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Ah, oh, shit. Along the board by her oh, man, I couldn't make a decision. Look to start the transition game. Burns looks around. Quick shot. And that one's turned aside. Slides the puck over. Hooked away at center by Natchez. Picked up along the boards by Rush. Oh my god, what a bad pass that was. Maintains possession of the puck here. Latang's got the puck along. Get out of the way. Pinned up along the boards. We can't even get it in the zone. That's offside. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Blackhawks win that offensive zone face off. Oh, and he stops that one. That was served See, he left. If he, if we just sandwiched him, we would have gotten possession because we would have checked him. But he left, so it's like, well, what do you want from me? Just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. 
Hurdles got on the offensive end. Oh my god, they keep poking it away, man. Any offensive chance. I don't think we have any shots on net right now. Chicago's game possession along the boards. Quick pass to Quinn. I had to junk it somewhat. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Martinuk. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Sunfist. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. And he loses control here. The Blackhawks have it now. Takes the bank feed. Russ tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Still got it, still got it. Ah. Uh, trying to hold that off. Here comes the sentence. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping ball. Quick pass across to Stahl. And now he tries to get it across to Jarvis. No! And it's in. We're short, they were short-handed too, so yeah, sounds about right. Shit. Whoa. Oh my god. That should be in, but he somehow got to it. I passed it. It didn't work. The pass button didn't work. I literally hit pass, but. Shit. Um, who do I want to pass to? Weak. No one's in position. Nice steal. Let's go. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Take it along the wall by Rust. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that. Oh, my God. Yep. Pretty standard. Stop that one. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Whose was that? Oh, it went off me. Shit, that sucks. That was a good chance. He has no stamina, but he's making the saves anyway. Moves the puck to Latang. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Oh my god. Along the wall by Kotkaniemi. Carolina's on the attack. There's a shot. That's blocked by Barlama. Let's keep it going. Moves it to Rust. Sent into the offensive zone. You didn't need Carolina to do that, man. I don't know why. I, I understand with the chip and chase, but. With possession along the wall. Apparently Burns is faster than me. Here's a 
a chance. In close. Right off the goalie mask. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. Is Can't the beat the goalie. He's like a fucking He's star player. Like, I'm surprised that didn't go in. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Right from center and into the offensive zone. Great pressure on the offensive end by Radish. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number Trevor, two. Trevor, didn't you join the membership long. program, bro? Like on Friday? What happened to your badge? I'm not done. I have to attack. Cast crew catching up on this conversation on the bench right now between the head coach and the young rookie. Oh, why? Why'd you have to make another account? Because now that that membership goes to waste, you don't get to use it. If you want to build momentum, and I think this is a reminder to the kid that hey, you're part of this. Go repeat what that last line just did. Chicago's won the draw in the neutral zone. Directs it on over to Quinn. Lifts the stick and ah, I tried to squeeze through. Oh, that was mine. If I could admit, there was a gamble. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Turn that one aside. The Blackhawks moving ahead. And the puck. That was on me. I'm sorry. I thought I thought he was gonna pass. Great pass from off the right side. Wins been feeling it tonight. He's already got a goal in the game. Now he'll be looking to break the tie. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Quinn. Oh, I tried to pass back to Rust. Oh, that's bad. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Moves the puck behind the net. Here he is from the slot. Oh. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Oh, no. Someone scored. Of course it was them. Every time I sub off, guys, we don't get a goal. Chicago's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Hammers it on net. I'm getting really sick of it. You sub off, you lose. It's like, why have us play it if they don't, you know? Still lots of all of that entire season that we were dominating doesn't matter at all. Quinn's won the draw there on the attack. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it over to Shea. Fires it, and that one's turned away. Slides it diagonally to Rust. Takes the feed. Chicago's gonna play it from the corner. Drives to the oh, I had a clear shot for a second, but then he closed in. The Hurricanes take it across the line. Handles it along the blue line. They score! And it's back to back talents. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here to find a way to continue the momentum. I'm breaking this. I don't care, man. I'm getting so sick. Oh, shit. No. Uh, damn it. Wrong fucking game. Damn it. Is, if it's programmed to make me lose, then I'm going to fucking cheese it then. I don't care. You, that's so dumb that you get to do that. Fucking over this shit. I've never had a problem.
I always worry about this stuff happening. game it's do or die if they want to keep whatever good times going here in this Stanley Cup final they got to be better they got to be better as a team and I'll tell you what if they want to look for a little like we're pretty evenly matched that's what I mean we're pretty evenly matched so far going into this one and I feel like he's doesn't matter so what's the approach when you get to the rink on a day where it's a big game you're raising? Well, everybody does it different. Like the I refuse to get cheesed. It's one thing if it's even and I lose that way, but if you're just going to sub me off and let them get these stupid goals every five seconds, fuck you. I'm going to start calling for more passes because I got to do more of this shit myself because they are not scoring on him, so... How do you go from scoring 11 goals, 13 goals, and then they score one every time they're on the ice without you? Like, wouldn't we have some sort of momentum? Like, they always beat us to the puck every time. Goalies sprawl a lot more. I think what was happening to the other goalies, like, that I was going up against, is happening to mine. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Natchez. Handles the puck. And now it's over to Tara Bynan. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Carolina's moving it along the wing. Puts it on net. Denies him on the slapper. Quick feed to Hurdle. Away and they're gonna score right here. Tries to feed it over to Martinick. On their heels, trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. And that pass is right That was a shit pass. He had someone trailing. What the Carolina's got possession while under man. Fuck man. What was... Pick up the goddamn puck, honest to God. And he takes the feed. Quick pass across to Burns. Who's it in front? What a chance, but they can't connect. Get out of the fucking way. Pass. Quinn's got it in the offensive zone. And yeah, trip me. It doesn't matter. Watch him get a shorthanded goal. You don't put me on the, pow on the power play for some reason right off the bat. You don't give me that starting momentum. I'll never understand why they do that. Four on three, there's more ice available, but you have to continue with motion. Pull the coverage outside to open up those lanes. Now it's a four on three. How does that work? Okay, I'm stuck on him. They're shorthanded, guys. They should not be outplaying us right now. We have the extra man. Now it's four on four. Pass! They don't pass. And I got stuck on my own teammate. Pretty standard. Look at that. We're hot, putting our arms around each other. I passed it. I didn't shoot it. But let's go ahead and pass it on net. How about that? I'm just trying to kill it. Got it in their own 
zone. And he slides it quickly to Hannafin. The Blackhawks take over on possession. Latang's got it in the defensive end. Yeah, I'm not squeezing through that. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Grabbed along the boards by Burns. And now he moves it quickly to Jarvis. Great hit on the play. Chicago's got possession of the puck. The Hurricanes grab possession of the puck. And a strong effort on that play. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job and he... of in the middle of the ice. Same old, same old. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. And nearing the final 60 seconds. Another power of play? Like. Stanza. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Shit, hey? On the attack along the boards. Whoa, what the fuck was it? Dude, you have a guy in front of you. Why are you passing it through it? Do another lap. Chicago's got it behind the net. Hammers a shot. Oh, a clutch save. A chance. Oh, oh, I didn't clear him. Let's see what the officials are calling. With three seconds left. The end of a period in a tight. I don't know why he's. I, I, yeah, it's not gonna sim it. There you go. He had it. What's crazy about that is he was supposed to save it, but it glitched through. So that's what I mean. That's the kind of shit that they don't make. Those are easy goals. And he would have saved that. Oh my gosh. I can't even figure out who's open. Oh god, I'm trying to set them up, but they're not getting open. That was on me though, that play. I had to make a decision and I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted. Oh, see, like, look at that save he's making. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Russ has been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. The Blackhawks win it. And uses the length of his stick like to trash. Get puck away. Takes a shot. Surprised I didn't go in. Save on the clapper. Hurdles picking up steam. Oh, he didn't pass. You gotta pass, man. I if, see. That's what I mean. I don't call for it because what if they end up passing it? And I just junk it forward because we hit pass at the same time. So I expect them to pass. Just read the pass, and they don't always do it. And it's like. Quinn's won the drop center. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive. I'm just shooting because I'm frustrated. I needed to be closer. Right when I feel I'm starting to get rolling. Ah, uh, someone's Carolina scored two goals. Watch. Oh, we really? Wow. It doesn't matter. They'll they'll catch up. I'm gonna pretend like they did score against us. Quins won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Came up with a 
And, oh, I thought he tripped me. See, why didn't he pick up the puck? Why is he not picking up the puck? He, he just walks through it. And over this game, and it's fucking garbage. Oh, and you gave him a breakaway. Here's his goal. Told you. Man, you have it. You give it up in the neutral zone behind the defense. Whatever, man. Honestly. Whatever. Same shit. Like, why are you giving up the, the puck in in the neutral zone like that? I don't get it. It's non-stop, man. It's like, literally, it's there's no point in trying to win because they are trying to... It's not even like a skill thing. It's I swear, it, when it's a skill thing, it's different. But when they're purposely making saves that are beatable, like, they're beatable. Like, I beat the goalie multiple times, and he magically gets it. It's crazy. And that's why it's frustrating. It's like, what's the... Why Why bother let us try if you already predetermined it, you know? Like, why are you holding on to the puck, Russ? Let's move. Not looking after the puck at all. Just giving it away. Look at that! I was going for the... <laughs> Oh yeah, come fight me, bitch. They're dropping the mids. Here we go. Well, the game got physical with that big hit. This is a challenge. Why not continue? And that Get the hell down. Got to know who you're fighting and he landed a perfect one right there and took him down. Now give us the boost we need. See, look at Carolina's. Carolina's gassed. So Carolina's gassed, and we're not. So that might be a good chance for us to score. It wasn't. Had to get it off quick. We had him beat, but we had to get control. Okay, we're ahead of them. Let's go. Three on two. They're not setting themselves up. It's so annoying when they do that. Yes! There it is. He just got his puck on that. Or his stick on that, I mean. We're not done. I don't trust that lead ever. Well, you can hear and feel the energy just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up the body line. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What if I should accept the fight? Nah, we missed it. He is really laboring. You can tell that he was slow to get up, and now he's struggling to get to the bench. Slides the pass over to Quinn. See, they're fast. Normally, I'm the fastest one out here. Trying to work its way in. Whoa! And, yep. I knew it. They could, The goalie could pounce on that. Defenders should be able to defend that. But they let him pick it back up and get a wide open shot. It's just pathetic defense. There you go. Get it right back. I knew if I could beat him like that, it's going in. I have to do That's what I mean. That's why I'm not passing. I have to do everything myself. Nothing else they're doing is working. There you go. Get another one. Oh, 
I'm not done. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even looking. My bad. That's on me. I didn't realize we were done already. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Oh, lots in there. Oh! Oh, if that went through, that would have been mine. I feel faster now. I don't know, something feels different. My player seems faster. He really does. Why would you do that, man? Oh, of course. Oh, I drew a penalty. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now. No, Michael, I didn't. I lost, and I'm terrible, so there you go. It's not even over yet. Yeah, of course they get control of it. And he slides it quickly to Sunfist. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Harlamov. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Hurdle has been putting on a passing clinic tonight, James. Eyes in the back of his head and just distributing it to the right place at the right time. And he loads a shot. Stops him cold. That knocks him off the puck. are getting two minutes for tripping as we get set for the face off a chance to see both teams in a little four on four action here four on four you want to utilize north south east west and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available you can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away they've got numbers here Well, the youngster has shown at times that he can be a bright lights player. And in this moment, what's the coach saying here to the kid? Now the coach is saying one thing. We don't need any fancy toe drags right now. Rookie, you make sure that you're smart with the puck and use your brain. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. The Blackhawks win the faceoff. Dumps the puck in. Slides it up to stall. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Puts it in deep. Moves it to Latang. Picked up along the wall by Quinn. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save by Chari. Quick pass to Hurdle. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Moves it quickly over to Shea. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. And they'll use that dumping to change up the defense. Shea's lugging the puck. Takes a shot. Takes a save. And he takes the dish. 
Chicago's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there's a reason they're in the lead. Quick feed to Hurdle. And he slides it quickly to Rust. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Let's the wrist go. and looks like getting a little pat on the back from the coach here, Cheryl. A little love. Positive vibes all the way around, James, and I really like the fact that the coach went up to the rookie and said, hey, listen, great job, because earlier in the conversation, there was an expectation. The coach asked him to get out there and do something specific, and he answered the call, and that's easier said than done. I mean, you're a young player, you're nervous, you want to make sure that you execute exactly the way the coach does, and sometimes you can hesitate. So a great job. Anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. And now he moves it quickly to Quinn. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Rust's been feeling it out there. The puck's been on his stick, and he's just filling the net in the crowd. They certainly don't like it. They're frustrated with their team. Quinn's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hottie. Under well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Latang. Sent into the offensive zone. Carolina's got the puck. Moves it to Burns. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Chicago's got control of the puck. Into the attacking end. Quick scores! And he did it again! It's a night to remember! Wow! Oh, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He's flying around the ice. I mean, if I'm the coach, I'm just telling his teammates, get him the puck. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the drive. This plot's got a lot more interesting here in these Stanley Cup Finals. And how about the kid? The rookie was great out there. Coming up with a big-time performance. Saving his best for the most important time of the season. And a big driving force while they're still alive here in this Stanley Cup Finals. Love the way the kid played. Now, just no pressure for...
elimination game man as a broadcaster this is something i you just dream of i can't even imagine how the players are feeling because i am so amped up on this both ray and i'll bring you all the action and hey one storyline i cannot wait to see is what this rookie Ray, can you find a quiet spot before a game? Is there a place to calm down? Uh, everybody does it different. You can. I mean, I like to stay around the locker room. Some guys, like the rookie, get out into the bowl of the arena. They listen to some music. They might sit on the bench and tape their stick. Everybody can find a spot. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Looks to pass it to Burns. Quick pass to Svechnikov. And he's taken down the official's arm, singling for a penalty. Latang's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Man advantage unit is set. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Sends it over. And that's just out of reach. Quinn's going to play it to the corner. Now a quick pass to Murphy. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. He's got a step. And he rings the post. Chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says not today. Penalty coming up here. The Hurricanes have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Quinn's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And a solid job tying up his opponent. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Sunfist gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Chicago's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. And that one's denied. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Sunfist got it against the boards. And he throws it wide to the net. Oh, this is a tough game. And you gotta fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Quinn's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Chicago's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And player Hall. Oh, he made the save! Oh, How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Quinn's getting some ice time with his power play, and it's his zone ability that can be a difference maker in terms of generating offense here, guys. I'm going to be watching for that. Kovalev's penalty has expired, but they remain short handed as he joins the kill. And the puck leaves the zone. The Blackhawks have it now. Moves it quickly over to Rust. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Picked up along the boards by Quinn. Quick feed to Rust. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. And he comes up with the save. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. Shot gets a club on it. Wow, what a stop by Chari. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Sunfist up and ready to get back on the ice. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Quinn's won the draw there on the attack. Comes up with a monster save in front. 
Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes the save. Up the club and makes the save. Nice zone entry on the left side. And refs don't like that. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Blackhawks win the faceoff. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Into the offensive end now. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Kubalik's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. The Blackhawks move it ahead. Here's a short pass to Quinn. Reaches out and pokes it away. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Blackhawks have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Chicago's won the draw. Oh, they nice stop with the club by Chari. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Blackhawks have it from the corner. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it out in front. Can't connect the play. Too much congestion in front. Moves it to Jones. Oh, look at this chance. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Our broadcast crew catching up on this conversation on the bench right now between the head coach and the young rookie here, Sheriff. They're coming off a great shift where they dictated pace, James. I think it's really important that you string shifts together if you want to build momentum. And I think this is a reminder to the kid that, hey, you're part of this. Go repeat what that last line just did. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Carolina's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. Well, and this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just miss by a few inches. And he pulls off course off the body. Now he takes it over the line. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Right in front. Oh, puts it wide. And oh, you know he want that one back. Now you can see the frustration right Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Slides it diagonally to Rust. And it's a quick pass to Hurdle. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Scooped up along the wall by Finn. Big time stop. 
receives the pass. That's blocked. Five seconds to go. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Here we go. And they've started playing the second period, and it's still anyone's game. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Hurricanes have had zero offensive production in this game. They've been on their heels, and really their opponent is taking it to them. The goaltender has been strong, and it's a reason that this game is still tied. Quick feed down low. Tries to the crease. Nice save from point blank range. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Hammers left from the point. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all done in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. The Blackhawks come up with the defensive zone draw. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. The Hurricanes have it now. And he takes the feed. Grabbed along the board by Teravine. Shot! Scooped into the trapper by Harlamov. Hit on the play, and there's the whistle. As it looks like the glass came loose, and I think it's broken here, Cheryl. Yeah, it looks like it's cracked, James. It always amazes me that the maintenance group come out here and make the change this quickly. And really, it's because the glass doesn't shatter, and they'll just replace the pane. Quinn's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. They go on the attack through center. Goes right to the crease. And he takes the pass. The Blackhawks take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Quinn. And the defenders come up with the puck. Nietzsche plays it into the offensive zone. Quinn's taking it from his own end. And look at the hustle here as they wave off the icy shell. Well, intangible, that is the word this coach is looking for. The aggressive ability to get on that puck and negate icing. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Hannafin. Slides the puck over. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And he slides it quickly to Rust. Sends the pass over. Chicago's on the attack. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's knocked away. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Quinn. Puck grabbed by Tara Bynan. The Hurricanes cross the blue line and are on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Quinn. Passes over to Hurdle. Chicago's got it along the wall. The Hurricanes grab possession to the puck. Gains the zone through the middle. Swap up. Moves the puck to Nelson. Radishes has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's tenacity at its best. Makes it look easy with the stop. Well, stick 
taps all around and even a smile from the coach as the rookie makes his way back to the bench. Well, yeah, and this is positive reinforcement, and I love that he's getting this, James, because earlier they had a conversation about the specific instruction and expectations on that shift. And when you go out, you execute, and then you come back to the bench, you're kind of looking at your coach, and they give you that reinforcement, it's a great feeling. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Slick feed. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. The Hurricanes find themselves a big-time goal here in the back half of the second. Well, that's a huge goal, James, because it's opportunistic. They haven't had many shots on net. They haven't had possession, but they find a way to capitalize when it counts. No sense stick handling in his own zone. Pushes it across to Martinick. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's a chance in front, and that doesn't connect. And now it's grabbed by Hurdle. Chicago's got it in their own zone. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Chicago's got the puck now. The Hurricanes gain possession. Moves it to Nelson. And now he angles it across to Martinick. Jabs the puck away. Quick pass to Quinn. Handles the pass. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. <laughs> Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Works it across to Hurdle. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Gets it over to Quinn. Quick feed to Rust. Odd man rush. Puts it on net, and that one's turned away. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Hurricanes have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Quinn's got it in the defensive end. Look at the Sabardian spinorama. The Blackhawks have it behind the net. Here he is in front. Huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. I think he surprises his opponent here, James, with the spinorama. Great agility, great balance to be able to get that scoring opportunity. Takes it up center. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Stop by the goaltender. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. The buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number, and we've got period number three next. Join our man club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Chicago's been holding on to the puck a ton. They've been doing a real good job of protecting and shielding the puck. But it just hasn't translated into generation of offense. they got to continue to work on that through the third period. They are trailing, but it's right on them. You can feel it's on their stick, James. It's just a matter of getting another one. Jarvis is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. Dickens inside, still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Quinn's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed, and he joins the kill. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a short pass to Glenn Denning. Here's a pass to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Needs 
Sanchez will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Our camera's catching a conversation with the head coach and the rookie. I can only imagine this is about one thing, smarten up. Oh, it's smarten up, all right. And this is the coach telling the rookie, not asking. This is a very clear and simple message. Stay out of the penalty box. Stay disciplined. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Carolina's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Puck picked up by Jones. Natchez makes an impressive play right there, James. His tenacity certainly shows as it looks like he's down and out as he stumbles, but his athleticism holds on to that puck even though he has a lack of balance. He makes a nice pass, which leads to a scoring chance. Carolina's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Rust. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Piece of that one. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Hurricanes get their second line. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The Hurricanes fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. We're trailing in this game, James. This was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. From center, they get into the attacking area. Well, make a change. Handles the puck. Chicago's got it in their own zone. The Blackhawks play it along the boards. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast-paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's going to end. And a nice save there as play continues. Back to the point it goes. Sacrifices the body to block it. So much pressure on this shift. They have their opponent running around everywhere, really chasing the game. This is exactly what we want. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance! There's a great club save by Curry! The Blackhawks have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Kakaniemi's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies! Yeah. Man, this plot's got a lot more interesting here in these Stanley Cup Finals. And how about the kid? The rookie was great out there. Coming up with a big...
Quinn. Chicago's got it behind the net. From the slot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Chari. Here's a shot. Oh, stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Quinn's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Transition. Moves it to the middle. The Hurricanes send their man advantage unit out once more. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Dickens inside, still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Carolina's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Quinn's out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still scoreless in this one. Slides it quickly to Hall. Receives the pass. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Shot! Denies him in close. And he comes up big again. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Foligno's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Setters glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Carolina's got possession here in their own end. Get it out of there. And now he moves it quickly to Svechnikov. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And he takes the feed. Sends it over to Quinn. And the puck departs the zone. Poked away at center by Natchez. Picked up along the wall by Terabina. Picks off the pass. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Quinn's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Grabbed along the board by Hurdle. Moves it to Pesci. And it's a quick pass to Kubalik. And he sends it across to Jarvis. And he slides it quickly to Gostaspair. Carolina's got him along the wall. Can't maintain possession. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stick save. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Sends a pass in front. Oh, and he keeps it here. Pumps it away in his own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here in the late goings of the period, still looking for our first goal. 
Quinn's won it off the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Latang's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Tosses it on to Natchez. The Blackhawks gain possession. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Hannafin's gaining momentum. Here we go. Odd man rush here. Shot. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Harlemon. The Blackhawks take over on possession. And he takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Picked up along the boards by Rust. Pushes it across to her. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Zone after winning that face off. 
Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's the pass down low. Scrum and Sue's along the boards. Moves it to cut to the Emmy. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Quick feed to Hurdle. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. The Blackhawks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Kakaniemi's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Broken up in the neutral zone by Rust. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Quick pass to Rust. Across the line. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. More than half the period has expired. The Blackhawks just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Chicago's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Moves it quickly over to Kubelik. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Rust. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Big time hit against the wall there. Uh, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous. And it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Continue to lead here late in the second period by a wide margin. Back on the way as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's not the way by Hurdle. Jari's got the puck and he's going to hang on. The Blackhawks have been the more active squad and they continue to lead late in the second period. here on EA Sports and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Blackhawks have built themselves a healthy lead through two periods and now it's about bringing it home, James. And in order to do that, you need to manage the puck, keep it simple, and make smart decisions with it. Lost it! And now it's grabbed by Stechnikov. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes the shot. Comes up with a glove save! Puck scooped up by Terabina. Let's it go! Positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Cut grab by Latang. Carolina's playing it through center. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Great pass from the left wing. Sets it out front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Pass back to the point. And there's the save. Now a quick pass to Hannafin. And another stop. Feeds it to Quinn. Gain momentum up along the side. Sends it to the middle. stick to poke the puck away. Well, looks like the kid is having a conversation with the coach, and at a time like this, 
What's the message, Cheryl? Well, I think this is a great conversation for the coach to have with the young player. Listen, they're gifted offensively, but it's not offense you need right now. You need good defensive posture when you don't have the puck. So you've got to be aware, and you've got to keep it simple. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Gaining steam here on the attack. The Hurricanes have the puck now. And he can't hang on after that hit. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Gets in front of it. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. More than half the period left to play. It has been a one-sided affair. 3 nothing is where we sit. The Blackhawks win the defensive zone faceoff. Slick feed. Moves it to Hurdle. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Gains the zone from the right. The Blackhawks have it now. And he feeds it down to Hurdle. He moves the puck back inside his own end. Oh, what a hit on the play! And he's on his own bench there, Sheriff. Well, the only good the score! from the coach as the rookie makes his way back to the bench. Well, yeah, and this is positive reinforcement, and I love that he's getting this, James, because earlier they had a conversation about the specific instruction and expectations on that shift, and when you go out and you execute, and then you come back to the bench, and you're kind of looking at your coach, and they give you that reinforcement, it's a great feeling. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Quick feed to Terrell Biden. Another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Shays lugging the puck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a 
breather here for the team. Wow, the Stanley Cup is prettier up close than it is when you see it on television or in pictures. It's all polished up and ready to go. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Chicago's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Picked up along the wall by Quinn. Takes the puck. Hammers the shot. Fantastic save. They are swimming around like bees here in the Ozone. They have really got the cycle going now. And darkness is on coming in. Not technically, though. Not technically. everything to be in the moment each and every one of you now you get to do it together get this fabulous celebration photo one that will go on your wall and you'll never forget Oh man, it's a long track for that one, and it was fo it was very hollow, you know. Our Stanley Cup post game show continues. Congratulations! I mean, I think it's pretty cool that they they have that animation. That's new, like at least that post part where they actually showed the names on the cup. That's new. 
expect rookies to show up in bright light moments quite like I don't know. This. I honestly and hated that. I players when it mattered most. I hated what it. I didn't want to say anything because I just wanted to focus on the game. That's it. No distractions. So that was all that shit. Anyway. No, nah, I disagree. I didn't earn shit. Yeah, I didn't earn a thing. That's horrid. So I just want to see where I'm sitting now at this point. We'll see what they say. I mean, I, I'm gonna get a boost here from this. For just a second here, let's give. I got. It's interesting because I got a trait point and I got boosts other shit, and I won the Stanley Cup apparently, and I only got 52 followers apparently. Good job. I, I, that's the thing. I, I made the promise and they didn't boost anything. It, it, well, it didn't show it anyway. I don't know. Oh, that translates to, yes, New conversation again. Man, I gotta keep muting this people, fucking shit. But it also oh, here's the one. So I unlocked the puck on a string and scaled up. I hate that you have to play a whole season just to unlock that shit. It just seems redundant. But now I at least I can put two in two that are probably going to be more effective. So I'll sim to next season, trophy case, which is what win the Calder and Stanley in the same year. Art Ross as well. Um, sorry, Mac. Hart Memorial. All the big boys. Calder Memorial as well. So this is rookie. The Calder Cup, obviously. Con Smythe, we won as well. Well, it's funny how a forward is better on defense than anybody else. That's funny. Ted Lindsay. The voted one. Maurice Richard. The Rocket Trophy. Most goals. I got it all, man. That's why I think that's why. Go back to that article from earlier this week, and <laughs> he's coming off this cup win, and I don't know if it's still the euphoria and that positive energy in his mind, but why are you already promising multiple cup wins? I get you like your team, but you're putting. The I didn't promise anything. Why do they always put shit in your mouth? Pretty amazing. Storyline. I went to the storyline to unlock, win the next Stanley, to get unstoppable force. Right now, the team is operating at peak performance, so I'll promise that. Just to get the unstoppable force badge, but I, I need to unlock more shit. Because the music is copywritten, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah, no, dude. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe me. I've, I, it's, here's the thing. Here's the thing with YouTube that people don't seem to understand. Is that even though it's royalty free, it's royalty free for those who paid for it. Ergo, EA paid for it, so everyone else who didn't pay for it, ergo, anybody playing the fucking game gets content ID claimed. No, I'm dead serious. It happened already. I used to leave it unmuted, and then I ended up getting content ID. It all, Here's the thing. It always it always gets resolved, but it takes a month to get resolved. I'm just over it. It's like the, like that's the thing. Royalty free music is only royalty free if you lined up, and then then you get these clowns who register their shit because they think people are stealing it, even though they're just playing the game that paid for it anyway. Didn't always, but make it snappy. Win the cup two more times. So in order to get all these crazy things, I have to. I don't know, but someone registered the the song in YouTube's content ID system, so it picks up. 
Anaheim, Montreal, Nashville, Seattle. Yeah, nothing crazy, really. I've played for those teams. We'll see what happens. I I just wanted to see. My God, I have nothing but conversations. I'm just trying to. You can grab the con Smythe. So I'm going to get Ankle Breaker as well. Well, it is. That's just it. But they want to make sure people pay for it, but they don't take into account that people are, if it, if a game put, if they put it in a video game, like it might be, you know what I mean? Man on a mission. I know that sounds so cliche, And a lot of them do it on purpose so they can man, make money off of it. how driven he was night in, night out. He just would not be denied. Love it. Come on, and Sim. Deserving. Cons my trophy winner and stand. Holy Cup fuck, champion. man. There's so much. Right, somebody just. We're gonna get to here on our they gotta work on this shit. All right. A lot of scuttlebutt on social Going media. forward, you're gonna be next captain. I knew now. that. Go back to that article from earlier this week, and he's coming off this cup win, and I don't know if it's still the euphoria and that positive energy in his mind, but why are you already promising multiple cup wins? I get you like your team. But you're putting that on yourself, right? You know, see, why would you make a pressure. promise? He already showed he can handle the pressure. If you're gonna get the Stanley same management teammate, I don't get it. It's like, oh, why would you? Why would you, you can you guarantee this now? right now why and get the 151 50, or you can risk it for a biscuit and, I feel like and you'll get it. It's so dumb. Once the puck drops it's like they they're like, obviously, I'm gonna fit in just to get the stats. They're not promising me any extra, so why would I gamble? We can bring it back it's moronic. Second here. And the thing is, EA uh, never adjusts here. it. EA never you know, fixes this shit. I think a lot of people were saying, hey, come on, show us more. You know, lift up the curtain. I don't know if there's going to be any more. Okay, like, there. There should be a person? C on my jersey and the fact at that, some point. Hey, you know what? But this is I all preseason now. And we've seen this in the last um, few years. What I'm going to do right now is go to focused and, and try abilities to and let's see my skill tree. I have one. Try to improve their Q I'll rating, leave it. If you will, right? Let's go to abilities. I don't know if I have I any like more spaces. You know, he's really up to social okay. media games. Okay, so we uh, fortunately we unlocked three, which is more than we've ever had at the end of the season. So we got ankle breaker, ability to dig out opponents at top speed. Toe drag is stick handling speed is good. Uh, what's this one over here? Exceptional ability performing lacrosse moves. Hmm. So honestly, they're all things I don't really use. So if I had to choose one, I don't really toe drag that much, but stick handling speed might be good. Here's what we'll do. I'll do puck on a string and then I'll do ankle breaker as my number two. Anyway, so my plan was if I had gone through that round fast enough, I probably would have, um, I probably would have, um, damn, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I probably would have done an, like at least a preseason game to try out, like see what it's like to be the captain and everything. I did it one year. I can't remember which year I was the captain. I started playing games just so I can get that, you know, what have you. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. It, it just, I think my biggest beef with this game it's crazy that it's, it's it made advances. Now, irrelevant of what happened in the finals, I excluding the finals, when I really think of my season this past year, it was the most inconsistent, random shit show I've ever seen. I'd say out of all the NHL games, even though, even though that I've already that even though I like um, I was getting a ton of goals, the game felt like shit the whole year. Honestly, it felt like. When they tried to add 16 different checks, you know what I mean? It, it's it was so much easier to take penalties. Like I, I don't know how many elbowing calls I had because like oh that's a that's a, like an arm check or a hip check or whatever, and then you have a cross check with the stick. So this is like your hip checks and this is your cross checks. But the thing is, if you cross check, you get a cross checking penalty almost every time. So they instead of just having the right stick be checking like it was in the past, like however many years, they split it up into multiple buttons. So when they did that, it, it increased the amount of checks and hits you could actually get. But it would also increase the amount of penalties you got. So there was always, instead of just having a nice balanced figure, it was like now over the top, like crazy. You know what I mean? Like it was like insane amounts of penalties, insane amount of hits. Like I had like over 200 hits or something by the end of the regular season. Not fucking possible. Um, like in some games you'd get like tw 10 plus goals, score, like multiple people are scoring hat tricks. And then all of a sudden, like a brick wall, it, like a brick fucking wall. We never saw that all year. All of a sudden the finals, 
They're like the hardest team in the world, and their goalie is like better than Hellebuck, and like even better than Patrick Waugh or Dominic Hasek, or like anybody who's considered a top tier. Like Brodeur style goaltending is like coming out the woodworks. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he's a bad goaltender, but he's not on that level, and somehow he was on that level just for the sake of it. And I hate when games like this do the just for the sake of it wins, and it's just like these guys are gonna be so fucking good, and then your defense and your goalie is gonna be so fucking bad. So it's just like. I don't know, like, I think one of the more frustrating things, too, is when you're trying to hit a guy, and you do hit him, but it doesn't hit him, technically, the hitbox, you miss the hitbox, but you do hit him, and your guy hits him, and the guy just kind of does, like, one of these on the other end, and skates through you, and all of a sudden, he's on a breakaway, like, it makes no sense, normally, it would have stopped him, or it would have held him up or something, but for some reason, add it, when, as soon as EA adds stuff to their game, they fuck up something that's been fine for however long or something that could have been tweaked on. They made that worse. And unfortunately, 24, I think, is the, despite all the new additions, is probably the most broken when it comes to gameplay itself. Honestly, I've never had this. It'd be like, oh, just get this one, just get that. Honestly, don't get 24, man. Even next year when people say, should I get 25 or 24? I'll be like, get 23. Because honestly, I cannot tell you how frustrating, even when I'm playing well and I'm getting a lot of goals, a lot of assists, whatever, it's still not that kind of fun. You know what I mean? Like, at, even when you're winning, it's not fun. When you're losing, it's not fun for a different reason. But when you're winning, it's not fun because, like, they're just, it doesn't make sense. It's so unrealistic. So it's like, I'm so frustrated with this because it's like, man, I keep playing these games year and year to try, year after year to try a different team out, you know, try playing with new players and seeing what they change. And I, I continue to keep playing them, but like it's like, at what point does Dan go, man, they are never going to fix this. This game is going to be garbage forever. And it's just like, it's so frustrating. And you know what? Like, I feel robbed at how that, um, that, that's, that finals went, honestly. Like, I, I was at the point where it's like, man, I literally have to focus so much. I'm not even going to say anything. I just want to focus on the game. And I literally was playing defense the whole time. I tried so much offense, couldn't get past some shit that was working the whole year. Like last minute passes across the blue paint uh, and or, or deeks around the goalie going top shelf. He was stretching like this man does craziest calisthenics. And he's able to reach corner to corner and make both saves. And I'm like, bullshit. Or you have a wide open goal dude sprawling playing twister on the ground. And somehow your player or your teammate will not pick up the puck and shoot an open goal. It's like wide open net and they won't shoot it. It's like shit like that. It's like they're... It, you you can't and, and then no matter how you look at it you're trying not to bitch about the game it's like oh it's the game's fault it's like just watch like what am i supposed to, literally it's designed to fucking ruin it so i don't know i i hated that series uh as i was told in the chat um i i didn't really win so i mean i did if you want to get technical but i didn't really not really so and that's i mean i i because like, i would have been i would have been taken out in like round six i guess i would have been done in six but i was just having it and then not, I, like obviously there was a glitch as well where they showed the template for new conversation you know what i mean the whole fucking game like it's unacceptable so i don't know but the thing is man it's like i put up with all this shit i got these kind of stats throughout the game uh, i got an amazing chat i was absolutely dominating and and then all of a sudden just all of that they're like no you're not all of that for nothing cock block and it's just like i'm not letting ea do that to me Otherwise, if it was an actual, like, even Stevens kind of a situation, I might just let it, I would, you know, just let it play out. But it didn't feel like that. So, I don't know. It's frustrating. So, um, yeah. So, we're just about at the six-hour mark. Uh, so, I'm glad at least it, it was a full stream. Um, I've never really left NHL feeling this way, though. I've been like, ah, oh, it's the same game, blah, blah, blah. We make fun of it, blah, blah, blah. But, it, like, I've never been this disappointed in an NHL before. I mean, I'm disappointed, but it's like, man, I keep letting them burn me in new ways. And I and it's just like, that blows. I mean, like, look at the star up in the top right corner. My milestone tracker, it hasn't even updated. I beat the milestone tracker multiple times, so I don't really get it. But um, it is what it is. So if I had to recommend a game, do not buy NHL 24. Do not buy necessarily buy 23. Honestly, just buy, like... You can literally buy 21, and it'll be the same exact game but with a couple of minor tweaks. It's literally the same storyline and everything. Just get 21 and, you know, like, get the updated rosters, and you're good to go. That's it. But uh, this game really frustrated me. So, NHL 12 was probably the GOAT around that time. Yeah, those were some of the best ones. But, you know what? I'm so sick of EA's greed, man. I am just so 
sick of it. It's they don't care about. They literally leave blatant bugs and like the bug with the jerseys. Like you know what I mean? Like your like your jersey, your name and numbers on the opposing team's fans. Like they're wearing your. Like what are you talking about? And the the fact that they still haven't let you be able to alter your jersey number. If you switch numbers, like you're locked into a contract. As soon as you're locked into a contract, you have to pick that jersey, whatever they give you. And it's like, oh, if your number that you choose is taken, you get the next one, regardless of whether or not you want it. Like, why not do what uh, NBA does and let us choose numbers that are available? So if someone takes it, you have a big list. It's like, oh, well, these are, aren't available, so you can choose one of these. At least give you an alternate choice. They still haven't been able to figure that out. Man, give me a break. Anyway, so, yeah, I, I was, yeah, I got frustrated. Apologize, but... Yeah, man, I was just at the end of it. I was just so frustrated because, like, man, I put all this, like, put all this time into this season, and this game is just going to, like, pull the fucking, like, you know, wool over my eyes and just cheese me like that. Really is frustrating, so is what it is so thanks guys regardless for watching uh will we be back in this probably not i would have i wanted to do like one more one or two more new games i say just in this series just to see the captain and see who's new on the lines and things like that and and use our new skills but they really don't work that much so yeah i don't know i don't think it's worth it so it's done it's in the books so anyway we'll leave it there so guys if you enjoyed the stream i don't know why you would but if you did make sure you leave a like Comment your thoughts, subscribe, you know the deal. Check out my socials, uh, join the membership program. I'm not even going to go into too much detail. Uh, join the membership program, support the channel. Obviously, thanks to everyone who joined the membership program today, the gifted members and all that stuff. Uh, it really does help out a lot. I do appreciate that. Um, tomorrow, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Um, Top Spin 2K25 is something on my agenda. Uh, it does come out Friday, but you can get the early access version on Tuesday. Um, the only thing is... I'd really rather not spend the amount of money you need to get the deluxe edition. It's fucking wild. But the thing is, and now here's the thing, the stand they have a standard edition, which is only on PS4. If you want to play it on PS5, you have to get like the edition above it, which is ten dollars more. So it's like the difference between the updated version to play on PS5 versus the um deluxe edition, which gives you the three day early access, is thirty dollars. So it's like if you're already paying like almost a hundred bucks Canadian for this you pay 30 bucks more and you get it three days early and you might get some you know you get ahead of everybody you can get some early content I don't know I gotta figure it out because I mean because to be honest the 26th is alien day it's like I usually play an alien game that day so on, on alien day so it's like maybe I should just do it and see if you guys like top spin because I know there is a career and it'll be something new for the channel something brand new we've never done before so, I don't know. I might consider it. So, I don't know what I'm playing tomorrow, but I'm leaning towards top spin and just doing it and just calling, you know, just seeing if you guys enjoy that and we'll do a career for that and go from there. But, I mean, it's developed by Hangar13 uh, who did the Mafia games or at least the, the, the Mafia and the remastered ones and all that shit. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, we do have another game called Phantom Fury. It's a first-person shooter. Um, I'm not sure uh, if what I'll be doing for that. I might, I might, I think I might still play Phantom Fury. But I might just push it till a couple days after. We'll see. But anyway, that, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Expect one of those games. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow with a new stream. All right. Thanks again. See ya.